Ah, we did it! Ah, somehow. Holy crap. Uh, let's see... I need to sort out these titles once again. Why, hello there, my lovely KMS. How are you doing today? Hopefully you are super well. And happy Black Friday, I guess. <laughs> You're alive! Oh, I'm so glad you're alive. I'm so glad you're alive. Always happy when you're alive. Got big plans for you. How are you, DJ? I, I mean, I've had a great day, but the last, like, ten minutes have been the ultimate pain in the butt. Because not only did Steam want to update, not only did OBS want to update, but now OBS has changed a bunch of things. Also, Twitch, sorry, not Twitch, OBS wanted me to refresh my OBS login. So I had to log into Twitch again, which meant I had to get my login from my safe place, whatever. And 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 it, even though there's been an update to OBS, Pokemon Sword and Shield still doesn't exist. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hug, so. Oh. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. But, apart from that, and missing you later, <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> I guess. Oh, man. But no, I'm good. I'm good. You did it there? Yeah, I did. Thank you. Uh, KMS, would you mind refreshing the stream just to check the game title? Um... Could you do that for me, please? I've got it as live, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys have got it as live as well. Hey, Kalo. I feel like dying, to be honest. Hello, Kalo. Nice to see you today. I'm sorry that you're feeling like dying. Why do you feel like dying, good sir? Uh, please let me know. Hey, General. How you doing, bud? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you are most well. Yeah, it's good? Nice. Okay, good. Glad we got it right. Yeah, it's so annoying. Like, you'd think OBS would know what Pokemon Sword and Shield is, but I guess not. I guess not. Bot's good too. Ah, oh, cheers for that. Appreciate it. One of the annoying things that they've done to OBS is that they used to have a little kind of stats counter in the bottom left-hand corner, which told you if you'd drop frames or not. They've now got rid of that. Uh, and replaced it with a button you have to click in order to see it. So I can't just hover over it, I have to click it. So that's kind of a pain. So, uh, yeah. Just in a bit of misery and hating myself. I'll be fine in the morning now. I have stream to distract me. Oh. Well, I do hope you feel better soon, my good friend. Don't, don't buy into it, dude. Don't buy into it. You, that's not you, okay? Love yourself. There's a lot to love about you, man. You're a good fella. So, yeah, just love yourself. And choose happiness, good sir. Choose happiness. It's easier than you think, man. Got a lot of love for you, man. Not just in this stream, but in life in general. And that's them. Yeah. I, I don't know why they make these changes. Like, I don't know whether they're just trying to streamline it, but like, if I need to, if I want to check how many frames I've dropped for whatever reason, if I've dropped any at all, I have to click a button now. It's crazy. Been feeling like this all week? Well, all I can do is try and distract you from it, I guess. <laughs> but you are a good person, as Marty said, yes. Hi, Marty. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you're well. Oh, man. Oh, okay, we can do this today, guys. We got some top-class Pokemon adventuring to go on today. We're going to have some fun. It's going to be awesome. Hey, KMS, hey, DJ. Hey there, wonderful person, Kalo. Yeah, Kalo is a wonderful person. We can do this, yeah, yeah. We're gonna see an elephant, maybe. I don't know, I'd like to see an elephant today. We saw an elephant last week, didn't we? The the, the Copper Rajar. Um, so I suspected a small Indian influence. You know, England, well, Britain and India used to have quite a relationship, and so... Having a Indian style kind of elephant, especially with the end of the name being Raj, Raja, you know. I think that's pretty cool. Can't wait to see that, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And hopefully we won't struggle today. 
Hopefully we won't struggle. So, um, yeah, fun shall be had. But hopefully you've all had a wonderful week. It's felt like a super long week for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like, honestly, I'm just going to get engrossed in into some Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys uh, will all have a happy time tonight. Whether you have me on in the background or whether you're watching the stream, it's all good. Just choose happiness tonight, guys. Like I described the British Empire's relationship like it was mutual. <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> nice one, Kayla. Nice. Um, I hope things get better soon, Kayla. Yeah. School stuff and weather stuff can make everything worse this time of year. Yeah. Especially weather stuff. Weather, weather is horrible right now. Don't know about you guys, but the weather sucks. Holy crap. Ugh. It's chilly as heck over here. What's the weather like for you guys? Yeah, like Texas is apparently cold. Apparently Texas is capable of being cold, ladies and gentlemen. Who knew, eh? Who bloody knew? Yeah, let me know how your weather's going, guys. Let me know. Oof. Cold, rainy, foggy, and awful. Yeah, that sounds about right for over here. But for Texas? Oof. I haven't been outside at all, so I don't know. Uh, honestly, General, I don't know where you live, but honestly, if the rest of the world is anything to go by, it's probably for the best, good sir. Um, it also... It can also be literally all four seasons in one day. Yeah, I feel you, Shark. I feel you, man. <laughs> Although over here in England, we kind of skip the summer. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully you're well, Shark. Thanks for dropping by today. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I get like this. I love the cold weather. I just feel like crap because, I don't know, brain hates me. Oh. Well, we bloody love you, good sir. Yeah, big hugs. Big hugs for Kayla. Yeah. Cold weather's nasty, especially in Ireland. Islands, they like to get cold, don't they? Oh, you poor thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys can get lucky at all this year with summer. Yep. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> it's a feels bad when um, when we have to get lucky to enjoy the the sunshine benefits of uh, of summer. Yeah, and. Uh, it was we got like three days of summer i'd say <laughs> maybe five. <laughs> oh man you all had my heat Oof. it's an humidity uh i mean you got humid a couple of times anyway. either way i miss summer god damn it i think it was like two to five degrees when i woke up i like the cold it's actually refreshing well good for you man you you can have all the cold that's around here I'll, I'll send it right on over, good sir. <laughs> you can feel refreshed for the rest of your life with with that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to slowly get into this. Uh, lovely music today. Relaxing Pokemon music. Appreciate that one, YouTube. You're the best. Now, I had to update my... Um, I had to update everything. I had to update OBS, so hopefully... I mean, considering you guys have been saying all the right words, I'm going to assume you can all hear me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're all good today. I think we're all good. Uh, I'm going to assume this is all going to make noise as well. Eh? What's that? DJ? Can't hear you. <laughs> good playlist is Zelda and Chill. Yeah, I, 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 have, I did use that one for Link's Awakening. Uh, when we streamed the entirety of Link's Awakening not too long ago. Uh, yeah, Elgato is blasting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bit, I know that playlist well, thankfully. Uh, right, okay. No frames are being dropped. Again, I now have to click a button to find out if my stream is doing good or not. Silly OBS. God damn it. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're good. So where were we, ladies and gentlemen? We had just found out. Ah, yes. We had just found out quite a bit more about the legend of the sword and the shield and the darkest day and the two uh, kings, I believe. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we blasted a hole through this rock and found a shrine to uh, uh, the, the legendary shield and the legendary sword and 
found out that the sword and the shield might actually be Pokemon. <gasps> Crazy. Crazy. Well, Sonya's looking into that mystery anyway. But I think we have four badges. How do you check in this game? I actually don't know. Is it this? Is it my lead card? Maybe it's my lead card. Ah, here we go. Yes, top right. So we do have four badges now, which is friggin' awesome. Listen to smooth blues music to add to the summer mood. I like this. Nice, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, good sir. Crazy stuff? Yeah, a lot of crazy stuff. You apparently need to update your lead card. Ah, indeed, I do. I'm going to go do that now, actually. I'm going to go do that now, because uh, I never get to do that. I always forget to, anyway. Hey, hate 7 how you doing, my good friend? Hopefully you are most well today. Hopefully you've had a bloody lovely day. Hopefully you guys have had a bloody lovely week. Holy crap. I mean, I mean, I know you all missed me on Monday, because I know uh, you all wanted a Monday stream, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No Monday streams. Monday streams are too tiring. But yeah, let's go update our lead card. Oh, why so tired today, H7? What have you been up to, if you don't mind me asking? My week was exhausting. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people preparing for... Um, Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys in America had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, hopefully you all had a blast. All right, there we go. Uh, Charles, the reprint option if you'd like to do is get the latest info on your current card. There we go. Okay, did I do it? I think I did it. I think I did it. Did I do it? Okay, so there's... Wait, no. Where, where am I? The, wait, no. Wait, I just want to see my beautiful card. Where's my beautiful card? I mean, my beautiful card's there. Can I flip it? How do I flip it? Oh, button. Okay. Nope, not that one. Nope. I don't know the controls. There we go. We did it. We did it. I did an important thing today, and everyone said I did good, but my brain said I did bad, but I'm good now. Well, I mean, honestly, man, if all those people said you did good, then I'd be inclined to trust them, man. Like, honestly. Like, let it, whatever it was, I'm, if they enjoyed it, then that's good, right? <sighs> good on you, man. Good on you. Do we ever get to find out what the important thing is? It's okay if not, but I'd love to know if you're willing to say. You can do this, TJ. Yeah, we did it. Look at that. So we, we, we've we made three kinds of curry. <laughs> we made three kinds of curry now, so that's really good. Uh, 48 Pokemon caught. No shinies yet. My god. How have I not got a shiny yet? God damn it. And as for our team... Uh, we got Mudsdale last week, which is awesome. We got Hatrum and we got Cinderace and Toxtricity. I think it's time to change things up a wee bit, though. As as good a boy as Mudsdale is, um, I'm going to be saving him for later. Yeah, Horse Donkey. Yeah, in, in our attempt to find out more evolutions, I'm actually going to save him a bit for later. Because I do have plans for him. But not quite yet. So, who do we want to evolve next, I wonder? Hmm, I'm not too sure. I went to a movie course thing to teach me how to work in media industry. Ooh, nice. Oh, man, that sounds amazing. Uh, did you learn a lot? Did you have fun? Oh, God, I hope you had fun, dude. That sounds great. Nice, good on you. Stuff like that can be super helpful, like, honestly. Um, so, yeah, good on you, good sir. Uh, yeah, we're going to train Meowth for a wee bit. I want to see this Meowth uh, evolve. Punch Bunny? Oh, wait, which one? I've got so many bunnies now. <laughs> uh, can't go back next week, though, because my parents are busy, so I need to tell the guy there I can't be there next week. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, they understand that kind of stuff, so don't worry about it. I learned about lighting and colors. Nice, dude. It's nice being able to pick up extra kind of info with that. Uh, for that, you know, for that kind of thing, helps with uh, deciding your future and all that. Giant one with orange for ears. Ah, Diggersby. Yeah, D Diggersby's a good lad. Um, yeah. So throughout this playthrough, I've been trying to evolve Pokemon which are either new or new forms. Uh, Diggersby is already fully evolved, so we're not actually going to be training him. Uh, this is our team, by the way. For those of you who have not seen it, we've got Hatrum, the psychic type Pokemon. Bolton, the good boy, an electric-type Pokemon. Cinderace, the fire-type Pokemon. 
Toxtricity, the Poison and Electric type Pokemon. And then these two are currently being evolved. We've got Karkal, the Rock and uh, Fire type, I believe. And Meowth, the Steel type. Yes, a Steel type Meowth. I wonder what the Persian's going to look like. That's what Meowth evolves into, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, however, I don't actually know where we're going right now. Um, uh, find your way through Glimwood Tangle to reach Balon Lee. Uh, I don't know where that is. Oh, it's up here. Uh, oh, I guess it's to the right. Cinderace and Toxtricity are my favorites. Yeah, Toxtricity um, is a, oh, it's up here, is a fun little Pokemon. He kind of comes out as like a little baby uh, Pokemon, but then evolves into this kind of punk rock kind of guy. And uh, I can only assume that, because that's, that's only one of his evolution forms. There is another form, so uh, I don't know if that's kind of like the rebel form. I'm not too sure, but we'll figure it out. Incinerate is very cool as well. Yeah. Let's find out. Yeah, let's freaking find out, man. Um, Ballon Lee is straight up, but I have I have a feeling it's going to be this way. All right, love. If you want to go to Ballon Lee, you'll need to make your way through Glimwood Tangle. Remember, in Glimwood Tangle, it's important to touch the mushrooms. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, it's important to touch the mushrooms. Uh, I do love my punk rock, so I like him. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, like, um, uh, Kalo, let me show you. Uh, even his ability, um, even his ability is called punk rock. So, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> we may as well rename this one Kalo. Touch all the mushrooms. Ah, yes. Gotta touch them all and eat them, right? You have to eat all the mushrooms, don't you? Is that how it works? That's how it works, right? Mushrooms are safe, right? No? I'm kidding, by the way. Don't eat wild mushrooms like that. Ooh, what have we got here? Saute them in a little garlic butter. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Nom, 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 nom. Ooh, look at these little fellas. Okay. New creepy Pokemon in a new creepy wood. All right, fella. Oh, hello. Okay. All right. Say hello to Impidimp. <laughs> All right. What a new. What, what, what have we got here? We got a new one for sure. Cutie boy. Oh, yeah. Good old Impidimp. Right. What kind of Pokemon are you then, I wonder? Kill him? Kalo. We got to catch him, man. We got to catch him. See what happens. Um, All right. Okay. Maybe I did kill him. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I didn't mean to do that, but we know that, uh, yeah, it's not a proper imp, the butt was not there. <laughs> oh, that smells. He did have a funny, uh, big old nose, right? Love it, love it. So, um, impidimp, um, there you go, there's another one. It took super effective damage from fairy, so perhaps psychic, perhaps dark, not too sure. Co stomp the, the little. It's <laughs> not very nice. Poor him, but um, uh, we should be able to figure out a little more now. No effect from Psybeam, so that really confirms that it's a Dark type Pokemon. Um, dark type Pokemon are weak to Furry, but they are immune to Psychic types. So we need to lower it with something else. So let's get. I don't know. Uh, what's Cinderace now? Let's get Cinderace into the action. Catch it. We're going to try. We need to lower its health a wee bit, though. Kill it with fire. It's not very nice. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, we got fire here, but we're hopefully not going to kill it with fire. Um, although saying that, if it was a Dark-type Pokemon, Double Kick would be super effective. Are you Psychic and Dark? No. Be yeah. Could be Psychic and Dark. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, headbutt. Psychic Dark Pokemon, perhaps? That means it would be mega, like, weak to, uh... Yeah, that would make it mega weak to Fairy. No wonder it died. Welcome back to a Pokemon Sword. Well, Pokemon Sword, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it! <laughs> it's 
Stop killing all my new Pokemon! <laughs> my team are just too OP right now. Told you. Yeah, I'm too much of a beast. Uh, okay. Um, Bolton, let's see what you can do. Ah, oh, can't do it, KMS. I keep, I keep bullying, keep bullying Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> we did it! Ah, oh, we found, we found the teacup Pokemon, Sinisty. Yeah, dude, I'll kill that one. I'm gonna try my best not to. Um, all right, we're gonna nuzzle it. We found the tea, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. Have we found our fifth Pokemon to train? Cup of cha, right? Cup of cha, that. Aye. Right. What What do you want in your cup of tea? What do you want in your cup of cha, love? Oh, I'll take two sugars, please. Oh, and if you could make it look right proper ghostly as well, I'd love that. All right, Chuck, don't you worry. Let me go get you a cup of tea. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. So it's trying to use aromatherapy. Aromatherapy will heal it and its team of uh, status conditions, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. But we'll try not to kill it. It looks like we've got a nice, decent move here for lowering its health, so we should be okay. Don't know why, but at the movie place, they said they won't put me on the register because my anxiety might ruin my experience, so they need to make sure I'm happy working in the media industry because if I mess up, I won't be able to get back into it. This should be a good thing, but it made me feel really sad. Well, I mean, the the they're trying to help you out, right? That sounds like a, a decent thing. I'm sorry that you feel sad about that, though, man. Why do you feel sad about it, good sir? That they had to do it, or that they felt like they had to do it? Oh, free rumbles. Click. Nice. All right. We have a cup of tea. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. We got it. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so adorable. All right, so Sinisty, the black tea Pokemon. Who likes the tea black? Yeah, it's the fact that they have to do that. Uh, well, I don't see it as a bad thing, man. I mean, like, the opposite side of that is that they could do nothing to help, and it would probably be even an even worse experience. Like, honestly, that sounds... I don't know. Like, if they did nothing to help, that would feel real bad. I got a hate seven. My son has similar experiences. Yeah, yeah. He also has to do math. Oh, you poor thing. See that? That's the true. That's true terror, right there. Oof. Not a big fan. Black tea is a sin. Yeah, do you reckon? I mean, I don't drink any tea, so I don't know. Uh, this lo this Pokemon is said to have been born when a lonely spirit possessed a cold leftover cup of tea. Yeah, there's nothing more disappointed in England than a cold leftover cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, I'd like to learn a bit more about Sinisty, actually. So, Sinisty, uh, weak armor is the ability. Physical attacks to the Pokemon's, uh, sorry, to the Pokemon lowers its, lowers its defenses, but it raises its speed stat. It's quite strong, reasonably fast as well, faster than I thought it would be. And it knows a bunch of grass moves. Curious. Okay. All right, I don't know how I feel about it, but I most definitely want to evolve it. Um, I do want to evolve it, but not now. It will get evolved in this playthrough, but not now. We've got other things to focus on, but it's good that we have it at the very least. Um, oh yeah, let's go online, by the way. Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, let's go online. Uh, that's definitely, are, are you invite ghost? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't like to make a special accommodations for him, but he knows he needs them. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I get it, but like, uh, it's nice that they offer that kind of thing as well. All right, lad. Ah uh ha -huh ha! Are you looking for mushrooms? They give off lights when you touch them. Ah uh -huh. There you go. Because every chef is French, even in England. There you go. Ah, uh, Derek, the most French-sounding name ever. <laughs> Black coffee is a blessing while black tea is a sin. I can believe that, man. I can believe that. Uh, all right, Milsuri, you uh, die to spark. What is that? What, the Pokemon? This is Milsuri. Uh, it is, uh, as far as we know, milk. <laughs> um, not quite sure what it evolves into, but we'll figure it out. 
Is that ghost milk? Yeah, it is. Uh, we also have a Shinotic, which I think is, yeah, from last gen. Interesting. Um, Spark won't do anything because you're grass, aren't you? We'll crunch it. I uh, beat Derek with his silly ladle who brings a ladle to the forest. I don't know, man. Do you not bring ladles to the forest? <laughs> I love him, Shinotic. Yeah, apparently I got his type wrong, though. Nice. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think Bolton's the right guy for this one, then. We'll get uh, Cinderace into it and burn it. Oh, is that her? Sorry. Yeah, Shinotic is not not from this gen, but it's one of the newer ones. Hide the body in the woods? Dude, it wouldn't, it wouldn't help anyway. They'd find the ladle. <laughs> They'd find the ladle. Everyone knows Derek for uh, his love for ladles. So, uh, yeah, they'd just find it and they'd track him down for sure. Smash! There we go. Eat the ladle? Holy crap. Sure, man. <laughs> All right, one pyro ball right to the face is awesome, and Cinderace wants to learn counter. We don't need counter. Counter, the way it works is that uh, we receive a physical hit, and if we survive it, we'll deal double the damage back. However, you can't really rely on that as um, as an actual payoff. Uh, taunt is something we don't need for Meowth either, so we'll get rid of that. I love our football bunny. I know, right? Yeah. I love, I love, um, I love it too, man. Good old Cinderace. Cinderace is awesome. <laughs> All right, and we got Sinistee again. So we know Sinistee is a ghost type, so headbutt and double kick won't work. So we'll just throw another pyro ball. Sucker punch will do very little. Dark type moves do nothing. Oh wait, no, I'm not a fighting type. Sorry, no, it will do little anyway, because it's very weak. But yeah, we'll nuke that. God, dude, I love you guys. I told my about what happened today and she barely understood anything I was talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's uh, sometimes easier to talk to friends, right? You guys got what I was talking about instantly. Well, I mean, I'm not the smartest cookie, but uh, I'll always try my best to uh, understand and try and help you guys. And I'm glad we've got a bunch of caring people in this community who love to do the same, so... Never worry, H7. We love you too, bud. We love you too. Hey, a strong trainer. That's rarer than rare mushrooms. <laughs> so French. All right. So, uh, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going in this place. There is a Pokeball there, but how do we get to it? Nothing beyond there. Um... They said always touch the mushrooms, but I'm not entirely sure what that does. We've got a full heal, though, at the very least, so that's quite nice. Hmm. Okay, we'll figure this out. I got hate so my son doesn't like any special attention or accommodation, and the fact he needs um, exercise even when they make his life easier. Yeah. I can understand that. Um... Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we've got to deal with ah the mushrooms make it brighter. Nice. All right. That makes things a lot easier for us then. So there might be a few dark places that we need to go, but that's okay. Bright powder. Bright powder. When a Pokemon holds it, it will lower the accuracy of the opponent, which is awesome. I want to, yeah, I want to see more Pokemon in here. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, look what happened to the, to the Impidimp. Oh, God. Just trying to let you need stuff like that. Yeah, but everyone is a little different. It's good people are willing to help. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. When did I get a Pokemon? <laughs> Evolve form of the other lad? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, so yeah, this is Morgrim. Interesting. So we've seen the evolved form of this fella and his pre-evolved form. Morgrim Freegorm? Nice. <laughs> I like that. Uh, okay, this could be a little problematic. Our good boy Bolton is currently very hurt. Let's take this opportunity to heal him, actually. 
Uh, super Potion should do the job for now, but we will need to heal him with Poison. Well, heal him with full heal to get rid of the Poison. Uh, there we go. Nice and easy. And you're nice and paralyzed. Thank you very much for that one, Morgrim. How did I get poisoned? Oh, from the mis... Uh, no, from the Trinotic. Uh, okay, full heal on Bolton. I need my good boy to live. There must be another revolution, do you reckon? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. You're probably right. Uh, we're gonna... Are you... What? Where are you again? Dark, right? Yeah, dark. Sweet. That's a teenager. I, I guess so, yeah. I guess that would make sense, yeah. Big muscle imp. Like, uh, what, like Oblivion muscly? <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm gonna go for one more tackle. Beautiful, beautiful. It's quick. It's very, very quick. Unless he's still going for Sucker Punch. Unless, if that's the case, then it's not that quick at all. Uh, great ball here. Wish me luck, guys. I go for nothing, so I might act like a teenager, but he's... That's all this time. <laughs> true, true. Oh, here we go. Yeah, sweet. All right, so we might not have the pre-evolved form of Morgrim, but we certainly have the evolved form. So that's nice at the very least. Uh, yeah, I've got some levels too. Got it, yeah. All right, here we go, let's learn. Morgrim, the devious Pokemon, dark and fairy type. Interesting. So, immune to psychic, uh, neutral to fighting, good against fighting with the fairy type. Interesting typing that, I like that. Uh, when it gets down on all fours as if, as if to beg for forgiveness, it's trying to lure opponents in so that it can stab them with its spear-like hair. Its hair is a weapon, yeah. He will become a plant? Oh, oh God, I hope not. God. Been, it's stabbing people with its hair, though. Don't trust Morgrim. If you see a Morgrim in the street, then... Cross the road. <laughs> Holy crap, he's about to destroy people here. Uh, Prankster gives priority to a status move. That's a very good skill. Very quick Pokemon as well. Interesting. Might be good. Might be a good Pokemon. Cool. I like that. I like that. Man-eating plant Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. That's something I don't want, okay? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, there's already Victory Bell, but still. Um, there's a Morgrim up there, actually. Where the hell am I going? Don't know where I'm going. Got no way of knowing. Lost in the forest right now. Right. Um, let's see. So there's nothing there. There's nothing here. I'm really stuck. I am actually very stuck. Wow, I've been duped by a Pokemon game. Who knew? Oh wait, wait, ah, yeah, hey, got ya. <laughs> what was that? I'm, I'm actually really good at Pokemon games and no Pokemon game will ever dupe me. <laughs> trickered, yeah. No trickered for me. All right, we got Shinotic this time round and uh, we could do with catching a Shinotic. King of Pokemon, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. The uncrowned king of Pokemon, that's me. All right, uh, Moonlight will heal it. Where's the baby ones? Yeah, we've not seen any of those, have we? I'm wondering, H7, if this is too high a level kind of area for the, um, for the wee ones to show up. So we might not see them, unfortunately. Uh, let's go with, um, let's go with Hatchrum. I think Hatchrum will do okay. Uh, but yeah, we might not see them because of the higher level area. They may exist in other areas, so we may have missed them. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't, holy crap, you're strong. Holy crap, we will probably not see them around this area. Um... All right, let's go with side beam and let's see how much damage this does. Uh, it's not bad. Oh, but Giga Drain is so strong. Ah, Giga Drain is so strong. God damn it, we're gonna have to go with Cinderace. Hatchrum's defenses 
need work, unfortunately. Shinaltic is pretty strong, man. God damn it. Who knew? Who knew? All right, let's try again, shall we? Um, let's headbutt. My nappy mushroom will murder everyone. I, I think so. I, I genuinely think so. And if it can't murder it, it'll, it'll put it to sleep straight away. God damn it. I am getting absolutely owned by a friggin' mushroom. <laughs> oh, wish me luck. One. I'm already sleepy. You get you getting hit by that sleep powder. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, what was that? Attack fell. That's fine. That's actually really helpful. Okay. Uh, I mean, the fact that we're asleep is really bad, though. Fallout Boy will help cure bad vibes with some headbanging. Nice, dude. Nice. You have fun with that. You have fun with that, my good friend. Good old Fallout Boy. Are they still going up? Are they still a band? Are they still doing things? I know I sound like such an old man saying that, but uh, I remember them back in my day, so I didn't know if they were still going or or if you're just listening to all the stuff. Right. Um, will Flame... Flame Charge is totally going to kill, isn't it? All right, come on. Wake up, Cinderace. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they're still around. Listen to the old stuff there. Ah, fair enough. God damn it. <laughs> this Shenotic is so much more trouble than it's actually worth. So the thing about Shenotic, Shenotic, I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, its ability is called Effect Spore. Whenever it gets hit by a physical attack, um, it will actually, it, it, there's actually, I believe, a 30% chance to either put the opponent's Pokemon to sleep, to paralyze it, or to poison it. And uh, because we're using a physical attacker in Cinderace, we are unfortunately we're getting really unfortunate with the uh, with the effects for triggering. Uh, we've been put asleep quite a few times. Um, sleep is probably arguably one of the better ones because at least it cures itself after a little bit. But um, it's really hampered the speed in which we can actually catch this thing. Strength sap. So that's the move that lowers our attack power, but also heals it. Ooh, that's actually really good. I like that. All right, now that we've had our attack lowered a few times, Flame Charge might not kill. Brilliant. Wakey, wakey, and some bakey. Yeah! Bacon time! <laughs> I'm big into early 2000 punk this last few weeks. Nice. Who else you been listening to, man? Maybe I'll know a few. Like I don't I don't know much new music, but there is there is half a chance I'll actually know some older stuff. <laughs> it's always bacon time. Nah, nothing wrong with bacon. Bacon's good stuff. This could take a while. Effect Spore hits again with the sleep. Oh god, is this worth it? Shinotic is just ruining my life right now. Heaven forbid if we see any more of these guys. Do we have any... Let's use an Ultra Ball. Oh, okay. So the Ultra Ball is stronger than the Great Ball. Thank you. Thank you, Lords of Pokemon. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> we got it. Best Ball. Ultra Ball, Best Ball. You better believe it. <laughs> oh, I knew it! Yeah! I knew Carcoal would evolve again! Oh. Also, Kalo, I know all of those bands. And I used to be a big Blink-182 and some 41 fan back in the day. But Carcoal does evolve again! I knew it! I knew it! So Carcoal, the second evolution of Roly Coley, evolves into... Oh, that's a cool-looking dude. Carcoal evolves into Colossal. Colossal. Col... Colossal. Like colossal, meaning big, but with the word call on it. You like that? You like that, guys? <laughs> Very good. Look at this big old fella. Colossal, the call Pokemon. It's usually peaceful, but the vandalism of, vandalism of minds enrages it. Offenders will be incinerated with flames that reach 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Amazing. And even more amazing, thank you for the 200 Pogbits KMS. Appreciate it. you the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, there you go. Good old Colossal. I like that. What do you want to learn, bud? Tar Shot. Brand new move. So let's see what Tar Shot does. Tar Shot is a rock type move. The user pours sticky tar over the target, lowering the target's speed stat. The target becomes weaker to fire type moves. Interesting. I think we're going to take that. Um, I don't usually take a status move, but it's brand new and it might be good. But there you go. Good old, uh, good old tar call. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, we also got Shen Shenotic as well. <laughs> Not to be outdone. Shenotic, eliminating Pokemon. Its flickering spores lure in prey and put them to sleep. Once this Pokemon has its prey snoozing, it drains their vitality with its fingertips. Talking of fingertips, look at those hands. Oh my god. Don't let that thing put you to sleep, guys. Such a big boy. I know, right? God love him. God love him. There you go. Uh, oh! It's actually holding a tiny mushroom as well. Amazing. Right, okay. I like this forest. This forest has been good to us. Big fan of this forest. Um, right, so with Colossal being fully evolved now, we can actually remove him from the team and try and evolve something else. So... Um, let's see. Let's see what Mystery does. Sorry, Sinistee does. Um, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. We need to heal our team up right now. Holy crap. We got ravaged by that mushroom. That was, like, the worst thing ever. Uh, alright. Revive on Hatchroom. Thank ya. Uh, full heal on... Uh, um, Cinderace. Sinistee doesn't matter too much yet. Listen, still waiting by some 41, if you can recall the so song DJ. Uh, why, uh, alright. So, I'm uh, still waiting, but it's just, 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 just hating. Can't find... Wait, is it that one? I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> I vaguely remember it, but not well enough, it seems. Uh, is that the one? There we go. There we go. For some reason, I didn't actually think that was some 41. But obviously, I was wrong. But I do know the song at the very least. There you go. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. God. Um, there was an item that we received uh, regarding a cup of tea. Uh, where are you? Treasures, maybe? No, more other items. Yes. Where are you? It was the... Yeah. So the cracked teapot. Interesting. So... So here's the question. Okay. Here's the question. So there is a Pokemon called Milsery, who is basically a milk kind of Pokemon. I originally had the idea that Milsery would evolve into the teapot, but now we've seen Sinistee, who is the teacup. So, Sinistee evolves into the teapot using the crack pot as the evolution item. So, the strawberry sweet is for Milsery. So maybe, if you get a Milsery, you give it the strawberry sweet, and then... You trade it to activate the evolution, and then it becomes a synesty, and then when you touch the synesty with the crack pot, it becomes the giant teapot. Or fat lip because it's so cliche, but so amazing at the same time. That was the first Sum 41 tune I'd ever heard, yeah. Uh, oh, the pot has nothing to do with Milsery. Well, my theory is that Milsery is the base Pokemon. And it evolves into Sinistee, and then it evolves into a teapot. That's my current working theory. Now, of course, Milsery might have nothing to do with any of this. Um, but I don't know. 
I genuinely don't know. Uh, this is just how we gotta do things in Pokemon games. We gotta try and figure them out, don't we? So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But we do have TM24 Snore. Snore is a very lackluster move. It is a move... It's a normal type, kind of weak damaging move, which will um, only do damage when a Pokemon is asleep. So when you're asleep, you're allowed to use Snore. I mean, the great thing is, when you're asleep, you're not really allowed to use any move, but Snore is allowed, so... It's, it's good in that it gives you something to do whilst your Pokemon is asleep, but at the same time, it's a bit too weak to invest into. All right, cool guys, juggling your balls around. The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. Oh, I came to ride a Galar train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. Oh, it certainly will, love. I understand it. <laughs> if any of that Milsery stuff was a bit confusing, I apologize, but we will figure out the mystery of Milsery. It changed mine. Oh, oh you're so sweet. <laughs> uh, right back at you. Right back at you. Right, so we have Kalia, the uh, psychic and I believe fairy type now. Not too sure. I can't quite remember. The, and we've got Ninetales, the fire type. Uh, so... Um... Crunch. How effective will Crunch be? I think what we're going to do is we're going to pile up on the Ninetales. This is a doubles battle, remember. So let's pile up on the Ninetales here. All right, Bolton. Bang! Such a good boy. All right, and Incinerate. Oh, Incinerate hits both of my Pokemon. That's kind of annoying. Come on, Hatrum. Ah, so close. All right, and Kalia with a disarming voice, which will hit both of us as well but we'll do very little damage. Very good indeed. Right, we will use Spark once again on Ninetales, and we're going to assume that Spark will hit. Um, Psybeam won't do much to Kalia, though. Um, so we're just going to use Heal Pulse, and we'll use Heal Pulse on Bolton to heal him up a wee bit here. Yeah, doubles battles take a little bit more um, take a little bit more thought because you've got two Pokemon to worry about and two more, two orders to issue instead of just one. So, yeah, quite a lot of experience for everyone there. So it feels good. We'll get our heal pulse onto Boltons, which will fully heal it hopefully. Yeah, feels good. All right, disarming voice hits both again. Hatchum taking a bit of damage, but should not be too much of an issue here. Spark on Kalia, and uh, side beam, I guess, would be the best move there. It's not going to do much damage, but we'll see what happens. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you may remember Kalia from our Pokemon Sapphire playthrough here on stream, a Gen 3 Pokemon uh, evolves from a little thing called Routes. A good way to forget trouble of this loss will be to ride the train. Aye, when I'm disappointed at life, I hop onto the train and I go for a ride. I do not remember it. I like it though. Yeah, so our, our rival, Wally, um, he caught a route with our help and he evolved it into its final form, which was Gardevoir, this lovely green uh, psychic type which looked like it was wearing a dress. Uh, again, it, we'll probably see it later in the game, but yeah. Another P dancer. <laughs> Love those P dancers, right? Too strong. Guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. My voice went during that. My God, I'm losing my northern power. Feels bad, man. Uh, making myself some pasta. Nice, dude. Nice. You having anything with it, man? What's everyone's favorite pasta shape? Let me know. <laughs> You'll be okay, DJ. Gosh. Bloody well hope so. I won't be okay if I take on this Shinotic, so I am out of here straight away. Uh, what's this yellow thing, though? It said always touch the mushrooms. Can I touch these? No? You okay. Curlies? You like them curly? Nice. Nice. Exos just started playing Pokemon. Feels good, man. Probably shouldn't announce stuff like that, but I can't help myself. Uh, curly pasta's good pasta. Believe me. Uh, spaghetti? Spaghetti's a good shape, too. Feels good, man. Uh, I see a sparkly there. I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Did I? My favorite shape is uh, Kabatabi. 
Wow, that's hard to spell. I've never heard of Kabatabi. Interesting. What kind of shape is that? Please let me know. I thought I knew everything there is to know about pasta. Apparently not. <laughs> Needles on pasta, no matter what you say. Um, yeah, I've I've had this discussion with, with others. I know a lot of Americans use the term pasta noodles. And I did read a dictionary definition uh, about it. But, um, yeah, I thought it was interesting. <gasps> oh, look at this. Nice. It's spiral-shaped pasta. Oh, so like uh, like Facili then. Very cool. Ooh, what that? Look at this. Oh, look at the Inke. Pokemon, top left-hand corner. The Inke. It's like a little jellyfish. Oh. See, I'd feel much happier about living in Great Britain if this existed. <laughs> oh, and then H7. There you go. You got your little buddy just to the right there. Yeah. Oh, cuttlefish. Yeah, sorry. I always just say jellyfish for that fella. There you go. Oh, yeah, KMS. This uh, Pokemon on the, on the right was um, one of the Pokemon you asked me to uh, identify when you watched uh, Pokemon... Sorry, uh, Detective Pikachu. Um, so, yeah. Love it. Uh, very good. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I love them. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? Nice. Wow, this place is incredible. Look at all these cuttlefish floating. I know, right? Isn't that so neat? <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. What a cool looking place. Alright. Um, do you know actually do you know who needs leveling up actually? Do you know who needs leveling up? Um Toxtricity. Toxtricity is kind of falling behind. So we are gonna put Toxtricity and Hatram uh, at the top here. Bolton and Cinderace are gonna have a bit of a break. Uh, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. What are your moves, young man? What do you have? Uh, let's see. Nuzzle, Spark, Toxic, and Acid. I think we've actually got something better for you. And the music sounds uh, kind of Kobe like It does a bit, actually. Yeah, you're, not, yeah, you're quite right there. Um, hey, Exo. How you doing, bud? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you're well. Good to see you today, good sir. Uh, yeah, how you doing today? Um, we have Venishock. Yes. Yeah, there you go. It's me, Edgy Punk Boy. Yeah, he's going to get a bit of love today, I reckon. So, uh, Acid is only 40 damage, whilst uh, Venishock is 65. And uh, the great thing about Venishock is that it'll do double damage if the opponent is poisoned. So, yeah, good move. Very good move indeed. Uh, make our punk teen an adult? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll try our best. Uh, Exo, um, we evolved our car call. I won't, like, spoil it if you've not seen his evolved form, but, uh, we evolved it, so, yeah, feels good, man. But yeah, let me know how you've been today, good sir. Let me know where you're at in Pokemon. Uh, right, great balls. Could always do to top up. And thank you very much. Hyper potions could always take a ten. You don't understand me, Dad. You don't understand me, Dad. You tell him. You friggin' tell him. We'll get a couple of revives. There we go. Awesome. So he's like the Geo Dude line. Yeah, basically. Basically, he's like a Geo Dude. Um, uh, I don't know if you want to be surprised by the evolution or not, so I won't show you. But um, yeah, he looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah, so guys, top right hand corner, just on top of the middle green mushroom, that's a Chinchou. Uh, a water and electric type Pokemon. Nice. So weird to see it out of water. Oh, and look, at, look to the right of the Pokeball on the Pokemon Center. You've got two Hatchrams. Oh, isn't this nice? Yeah, two Hatchrams there. Yeah, and H7's right. How can you breathe on the, uh, without water? I have no idea. Isn't it cool, though? I will watch the VOD later. Ah, cheers, Exo. Appreciate that. Yeah, look at these two NKs with this little girl. You are right there, little girl? Welcome, Pokemon trainer. Thanks, love. Appreciate it. There you go. Frank, that's my granddad's name. All right, cool. Here we go. Fuga! Fuga, ga, 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 ga. I'm a Pokemon. I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. 
Listen for a second. Scarlet Bunny and Sizzlepeed are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scarlet Bunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. What? What? You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. Ah, it's lofty logic. Okay, that makes sense. Are these all fairy types? Uh, no, not all of them. Um, no, they're actually quite a, a wide range of types, actually. We've got uh, grass and um, water and electric and psychic, actually. So quite a, quite a range. Uh, dude, we're tripping out. I know it's all these mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, lofty logic. Woo! The Pokemon that have typings that conflict themselves are the coolest. So like a water fire type or something like that. Yeah, I like those too. <laughs> I wanted to become a Pokemon once. Um, I mean, you can be. Hey, I got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? You! Would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? Oh god. Um, boing. Nice. Uh, okay. We're gonna come back to that fella, cause, uh, he seems alright. He sounds like my kind of people. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside, looks, uh, looks proper fashionable here. Eh? Great trendy. Love the plants. Well, that took a turn. Uh, yes, he wants me, he wants to dress me up. <laughs> You're looking for Frank? That'd be me. Hi. What's this? You got a letter addressed to me? I don't remember that. Oh, wait, no! Wait, yes? Oh, wait, wasn't there... Didn't the young lady give us a letter to deliver to someone called Frank? Put on these clothes so I can get more passionate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm down for it, though. I'm down for it. <laughs> I, think, I think so. I think a young lady gave us a letter to give to Frank. Probably fell asleep. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> now, who could be sending me letters? Oh, why? It says it's from Paula. That does take me back here, to say. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill. Didn't tell me, though. She kept it secret just how sick she was. We ended up having great row about it. Then I moved away not long after it fights. I never met her again after the day I left. How was she? Does she look well? Dear old Paula. Um, yeah, yeah, it's fine. That's a comfort to her, lad. I reckon I ought to give you something for gift you brought. For, for you brought me back a piece of my youth, and boy do I need it. With those two bloody rascals in kitchen, I, I, I could just strangle them. Kids are ruining my life, so thank you for making me feel young again, young man. Appreciate it. Uh, Alright, there you go. Ooh, we like choice scarves. Choice scarves are lovely. Um, you don't remember it either? Oh, I'm sorry. This is realistic though. We have Franks who people want you to give letters to. Never happened to me actually. Uh, we do have a lot of Franks around here. Paula is your mother? Oh God, could you imagine? <laughs> Boy, he really is northern. I made him as northern as possible. I mean, look at the flat cap and his little kind of jumpery thing. <laughs> but yes, choice scarf. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This curious scarf boosts speed, but only allows the use of one move. You're not locked into choice items if you Dynamax. Amazing. Nice. So choice items, choice scarves and all that, they tend to be more for competitive battling, uh, actually taking on uh, real people. What they do is they give you a 50% boost, or they have done in past games, in the stat that they're boosting. For this example, we are boosting speed. However, you're only allowed to use one move. Once you use one move, you're locked into it until you switch Pokemon. So it's a tough strap, but it's it's worthwhile on the right Pokemon. Nice. I learned to knit flat caps. Yeah, you are. Can't wait to see it. I hear DJ doing an over English accent and then you read the words and it matches. Oh, lovely. I'm glad it works. Opal's gym stadium is also a small theater. Oh, lovely, lovely. Opal has been a gym leader for a long time now. Good for you, love, good for you. Pattern is crazy, just following it. Yeah, it looks amazing. I've seen like an early picture of it. It looks awesome. Ooh, sparkly. Nice. Big mushrooms. Paddy caps, yeah, that kind of thing. Oh, look at the Hatana. Hey, bud, how you doing? Oh, look at you. 
defeated Stow and Sides gym leader, eh? You probably know your way around a TM like this one in that case. Oh, aren't you lovely? Oh. And we get TM77 Hex. This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. Having your Pokemon learn moves to, uh, of different types can be a real help, you know. Ah, it's called coverage, love. We like a bit of coverage. All right, love. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. Do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without evolving it? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. All right. I'll never say no to a battle. Oh god, it screams at us. Yeah. Oh, oh Hatena. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it screams really hard. All right, so we got Dotla right here in the front row. Yeah, let's have a riot. <laughs> Uh, all right, Dotla. So what are we going to do? We're going to poison it. So first of all, we're going to use Toxic, and Toxic will apply the Toxic status, which is a very, very bad form of poison, which means it will take uh, damage over time, and that damage will increase over time. Uh, Dotla is simply going to use Reflect, which will mean nothing to us. So all it will do is it will increase its physical defense for its entire team for about five turns or so. And then we're going to use Vanishok and see what happens. Vanishok! Shazam! Take that, you bugger. Beautiful. Love me some dots. Ah, who doesn't love a good dot, right? Oh, I like Dotler. Dotler's so cool. I like its shape. I think that's the thing I like about it the most weirdly. <laughs> it just reminds me of one of those die that you kind of throw, the 20-sided one. I think it's really neat. Oh, that's a problem. Ouch. No, that's fine. Oh, you meant damage over time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so sorry. I like damage over time too. Yeah. I mean, Toxic does increase the damage from Venus Shock as well, or Venus Shock. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it serves two purposes there. Catsy! Black Friday. How you doing, bud? Hopefully, you had a wonderful day, Catsy. Welcome to the stream, my good friend. I don't expect you to be able to breach Dotless uh, Solidity. I know my way around a Dotler, let me tell you that for nothing. Even though my Dotler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? Oh, the secret is this Eviolite. Ah, Eviolite is a wonderful item. Eviolite, beautiful. A mysterious evolutionary lump. When held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, it raises both defense and special defense. So yeah, as Exo stated, for Pokemon that aren't fully evolved, but are already pretty good in certain stats, for example, Porygon 2 and Chansey, Eviolite turns these Pokemon into tanks. They're so, so strong. So, yeah, like, Porygon 2 is always a big one for me, but Chansey becomes a bit of a monster as well with Eviolite. But yeah, KMS, I don't know if you're ooh ooh and get the thought that Dotler actually still evolves, because that's... That's what she just said, right? So Dotler has a final form. So we need to investigate that for sure. I am, yeah, yeah. So our Dotler does evolve. Interesting. We need to get on that. If you let a Pokemon that can still evolve hold this Eviolite, that Pokemon's defenses and special defense will go up. There you go. Wow, two incredible items, Choice Scarf and Eviolite. Oh, look at the little Chin Chow. Oh, I love that. That's so good. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at it. <laughs> hey, bud. How you doing? Uh, all right. What else do we have around here then? Another chin chow. Ooh, hello. And TM21 Rest. Uh, rest. So rest is a strange move. Yeah, it puts you to sleep for two turns, but it will fully heal you. And, oh, I missed that shiny. I saw the shiny, I'm going back for it. It'll put you to sleep for a couple of turns, but uh, you'll also heal yourself of any status condition like poison or uh, paralysis or whatever. Um, we get a bomb mushroom as well, which I assume I can sell. Very good indeed. Is there anything else to this place though? I know we've gone around like four times now, I apologize. Um, I guess there's not. But it'll be interesting to evolve the Dotler for sure. 
But we'll do that once Meowth evolves, because I really want to see what Galar Persian looks like. I think that would be pretty neat to see what that looks like. Has Ruin's life? How have you Ruin's life, my good friend? Me too? Yeah. Yeah, so like... Oh god, we... We never... I don't think I showed off... Uh, Alolan Persian during the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu playthrough, unfortunately. So... It'll be interesting to see what this Persian looks like. Little Tazmiouth, yeah, feels good, feels good. Can't wait to see it. Oh, a pump, a pump Kaboo is floating as well. Wait, no, that's not Pump Kaboo. That's uh, Phantom. Yeah, look at the little Phantom there. Very good. Lots of uh, Bulbapedia. Only the Pixely sprites, though. Oh, you saw Dotless Evolution. Nice, nice. Uh, well, the Pixely version, anyway. But yeah, that was a Phantom floating in the sky there. Phantom and Pumpkaboo are both very Halloween-y Pokemon. Uh, one's supposed to be a, po a, a spooky tree that evolves into Trevor and into Ghost and Grass type, and Pumpkaboo, uh, the pumpkin that you've already seen. Get a Glorian Ponytar too. Uh, I might need a little help with that. It's exclusive to uh, to uh, Shield, but we will. I promise you. Yeah, there you go. That's Phantom. Lovely. I like it. Cool. Okay. Cool. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Adela said she uh, trade you. Yeah, yeah, she did. I'm sure Exo would be willing as well. So I got, I got plenty of offers. So it's all good. Oh, I forgot what that Pokemon's name is. Uh, oh, M Mora Peck or something like that. Oh, Challenger down. Hmm, you got four gym badges already. I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Going to find one myself. Oh, I hope you get one soon, fella. Moy Pekko, there you go, close enough. Ooh, rah, rah. <laughs> Look, even Moy Pekko is wary of you. Wait, Moy Pekko, don't tell me you actually like Dan. You know, that handsome, gorgeous boy over there with his with his luggage on his back and his fine choice and hoodie. Adelwin got you. Yeah, Adelwin's got me at the very least. It's all good though, Exo. Don't you worry about it, it's all good. How could you not like Dan? I know, right? I'm such a great guy. <laughs> oh, lordy. Uh, we've already had a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to look at. Just take one of my league cards, okay? <gasps> oh, yeah, give me a league card. Yours. Feels good, man. What's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? There aren't too many gym challenges left, you know? So we're meeting in the finals. You got that? Yeah, we are. There you go, swagging off, man. Oh, it's Pokeball Guy! Hey, bud! Hey there! Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy! <laughs> is love in the air? No. No, it's not. Or is it just this Pokeball? Here, try it out and see for yourself. And we get ourselves a love ball. What do love balls do? A Pokeball that works best when catching a Pokemon that is of the opposite gender of your Pokemon. There you go. A love ball is useless if you want to catch a Pokemon that's the opposite gender of the one you send out onto the battlefield. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Absolutely. The kid in the corner has a trade for your mask. Ooh, thank you for letting me know. This fella? Very right, Evie kid. How you, Connie? Your mask and Galar? If you have, would you be interested in trading for the mask I caught abroad? Ooh, okay. Yes, actually. Uh, let's do that. Oh. <gasps> Exo. Oh, wait, no, sir. Okay, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm blind. Oh, that was close. I was about to tell you, Exo, that I must have sent it out on a job, but no, I'm really blind, apparently. Alright, so when we caught this last week, I told you that um, this is a Galar form. It, the little rock on it, it, it shouldn't be there. Instead, what should ha what it should have is a mask, as you can see. So this is actually a regular form, your mask. <laughs> what a great trade. Nice. That's what the normal one looks like. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, we got ourselves a Yamask now, a regular Yamask. Um, very cool. Right, let's talk to everyone then. Uh, all right, love, how are you doing? Buzzerp indeed. 
I've been hearing more and more people talk about you, Challenger Dan. Great. Good to know. Opal's a harsh teacher, but you gotta give it your best. Oh, lovely. Oh, old folk. I gotta love him. He looks kind of strong. Yeah, I am. Okay, can't talk to all of them. Hurry, right, lad. What is this about pink? Does it mean fairy type? What? My 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 hoodie? No, I just just like the color. Right. Um. Do we talk to you? I feel like the quizzes are. Oh my god, it's a quiz. I feel like the quizzes are a bit too much. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and yet we have to deal with quizzes. Little known fact about your boy DJ. I do nothing but watch quizzes. So this is going to be disastrous when I get all of them wrong. <laughs> Alright, love. Alright, let's do it. Gym challenger, would you like to challenge our gym? Quiz guard. God, let's hope so. <laughs> then please change into your uniform in the locker room. This will not be a mission so much as a test of your quality. It is a very serious examination. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Well, uh, that's fine. Don't you worry about it. Uh, excuse me. That uniform looks good on you. Now relax, clear your mind, and go break a leg. <laughs> I know she doesn't mean it in a bad way. Does Caterpie evolve into Butterfree? <sighs> well, I mean, technically no, but it does eventually, so what do I put? <laughs> Uh, you got this, TJ. All right, we're going to dab all over this exam, aren't we? Yeah, we got this. We got this. All right, there you go. We get to see a gym battle. I imagine this is going to be a fairy type one. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, no. Third option, computer screaming. <laughs> That's the one that we need. Oh, there you are, my dear gym challenger. Though you were really lacking in colour pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take up role at gym leader here. So my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts too. Oh, oh don't worry, it's simple enough, love. All you need to do... Oh! Holy crap, moon magic. That's a name I have not heard from in a long time. Moon Magic, hello. Hopefully you're here. If you are, feel free to say hello. If that was an auto host, then you're probably not here. Either way, hello. Also, not quite sure why I have a hosting thing when I thought I didn't. Either way, hello. Hey man, good to see you streaming. Yay, Moon Magic. Yeah, we've been back since February, but obviously we took that massive four month break off. How you doing, Moon Magic? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you're well. Back with T. Welcome back, H7. Welcome back. An old friend. Yeah. Yeah, we love Moon Magic. Moon Magic's good. Still have the zombie up. Yeah, we still have the zombie up, but at least it's there, right? <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the stream, Moon. Are you still streaming, Moon? Sick, but otherwise than, otherwise than that good? Oh, I'm glad you're good. Sorry you're sick, though. You poor thing. Are you streaming at all? Let me know if you're streaming. I've not seen you around, so I have a feeling you're not, but let me know. Still need a raid alert too. Oh, that's the alert we need KMS. Now our hosting one is fine, but we need a raid one, don't we? Yeah, that's reminded me. Yeah, thank you for that. All right, I'm gonna get through this dialogue, so give me a sec, guys. Need to conjure up some Northern. Yeah, 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 raid one for sure. Took a long break for streaming, but going to start again soon. Ah, good on you. Getting back into streaming was really good for me, Moon Magic, so uh, hopefully you'll have a blast of it too. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering their child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. What? Oh, but if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Oh, lovely. Just think of it as a little fairy type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. Oh, oh, I've got a, my nose. It needs a rub. Oh, I'm going to go rub my nose for a bit. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Nice. 
Oh, I love those emotes, man. Holy crap. Yeah, I like the little alien dudes. They're cool. Excuse me? The question tends to be easy enough there? Yeah, we'll be fine. Don't worry. No pressure. We'll be all right. Now let the gym mission begin. Battle with all of your skill. I want to talk to this fellow there. Did you need something? Uh, no, I'm good. In that case, good luck. Look at all this, by the way. I mean, she did say... No, in fact, someone else said that the uh, her gym was a theater. So all of this kind of makes sense. But it also kind of makes it look like a... Like a... Like a building kind of yard thing, you know? It's an old basement, yeah. I, I see all these metal pipings. I'm like, are you trying to build a build a block of flats or something? I don't know. But no, it's kind of like the side area of the stage. There you go. Hello, my name's Dan, and I'm going to be singing for you today. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, okay. It's time to start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. Sing for us, DJ. Oh god, maybe in a bit. <laughs> I will sing you a song of battle against a net. Let's do it. A net throughout a sprint sea. A fairy type. All right, there we go. That's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> so Spritzy, fairy type Pokemon. Uh, fairy type Pokemon are very weak to poison. So shabam, bang, and the Spritzy's gone. There you go. I actually didn't know the next gym was actually a fairy type, but uh, Toxtricity should do a good job here. And we have Slurpuff. Puff. I love Slurpuff. Puff. Give me Slurpuff. Puff. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous boy. Do you know about fairy types' weaknesses? Um, fairy types are weak to um, poison types. Was that a freebie question? Uh, I, I guess so, considering that I just used uh, <laughs> poison on it. <laughs> Look at the tongue. I know, isn't that amazing? Cute boy. Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. So um, I think this was Gen 6. Uh, back when Pokemon got its remodel, so to speak, with a lot of fully kind of 3D characters and all that. Um, and it was set in kind of like the fr a f very French region, I believe. So lots of kind of cakey things, because the French love their cakes. All the patisserie and all that. Uh, all right, there we go. Sweet. So if you didn't notice, though, because I was waffling on a bit too much, but we, we got asked a question. And when we got that question right, we uh, we got our uh, attack boost or something. So, yeah, feels good. But I did get disappointed from my cotton candy turned into that. It was a cute poof dog. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to support it, but... <laughs> I also love my cakes. I love my cakes, too. <laughs> if you stand your ground with everything you got, it doesn't matter what's right or wrong. Wise words, love. Wise words. But you're dead. I see. I can't... S Wait, is this not Opal speaking? God damn it. It's annoying when they don't put their names up. I can't say what Miss Opal will think, but you've at least piqued my interest. And there's Opal down there drinking a cup of chai. Lovely. I think. All right, here comes the next one. It's rough out there for a voice talent. I know, right? Especially one as talented as me. <laughs> this makes me want to play on my DS. Yeah, man. Are you are you, are you a big uh, Pokemon fan, Moon Magic? What was the last Pokemon game you played? And who's your favorite Pokemon, Moon Magic? Let me know. <laughs> I'm I'm the second trainer. Don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. Let's friggin' do it. All right, we got Teresa. All right, let's go. Teresa's got a Swirlix, who we have seen already. Um, and we've got Toxtricity here. Oh, it, it's it's cruel. It's just cruel. We, we click Venoshock and we win the game. Bulbasaur is the best by far. I absolutely agree. Bulbasaur is a gorgeous boy. I mean, I love myself some Ludicolo, as you can tell from my emos, but I love myself some Bulbasaur as well, so don't worry. You're my kind of people, Moon Magic. I mean, you always have been, but uh, yeah, big fan of Bulbasaur for sure. No, feels bad. That's my poof dog. Ah, I'm sorry, bud. Sorry, gotta be done. And we get an Aromatus as well. You are the evolved form of Spritzy. Yes, so we get Aromatus. Question, what was the previous trainer's name? Uh, Annette, I believe. 
There you go. I adore those emotes being magic. Amazing. <laughs> Evil, I'm so sorry, it has to be done. Blame the Pokemon Gym. <laughs> but yes, the last Doom Trainer's name was Annette, thankfully. Oh, it actually gets an attack off here. Draining Kiss. Very tight move. Only going to take a little bit of damage, but it will get a little bit of health back. Not enough to protect it from a two-hit KO, thankfully. Uh, so yeah, Bandit Shock it is. Oh, you hate this Pokemon? Oh, don't worry about it. It's about to be fainted. There you go. Aromatus is out of here. Why is it showing me its leg? <laughs> I think it's supposed to be kind of like a, almost like a Can Can dancer maybe, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I only say that again because um, of the French vibe in which the game, uh, which the Pokemon came from. Uh, so yeah. To be, to be cautious and wary, that's the trick to survival. Nice. Playing Diamond? Uh, nice. Yeah, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum were good games. I enjoyed them very much. Nice. Starting a new game or just continuing? <laughs> Don't worry about right or wrong. Just keep moving forward. So if you're like really smart with Pokemon or observant about who you're battling, then you shouldn't have any issue with this gym at all. Like You get boosts and that's going to help you win the, the battle, really. I'm next. I think you might have what it takes to become the fairy type gym leader. What if we become a gym leader? Oh, it's your first time playing it? Ooh, have fun with it. Have fun with it, Moon Magic. Nice. It's a good one. All right, so now we got Morgrim. So Morgrim was a fairy and dark type Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Uh, thanks to it being a fairy type, it's going to be equally as weak to Venishock, but Morgrim does have better stats than what we've been seeing in terms of attack power and speed. So this could be closer than we think. Feel a little young for a full-time job? Ah, getting started early, right? I mean, look at all these uh, these Fortnite kids who, uh, you know, make the millions streaming and all that. <laughs> Get it, start them early. <laughs> Get them into Hollywood and all that. All right, here we go. And boop. Seems healthy? Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> All right, there we go. Another level up for Cinderace. Very good. I like how Electricity's got a really spiky butt. I don't know why that makes me laugh, but I'm sure he wouldn't be able to sit down at all. Ah, here we go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Kalia, who we saw before, who... Um, no, the fairy type. This is the evolved form of Kalia. God of War. Uh, oh, oh, what? Be back soon? Yeah, no worries, me magic. No worries. Oh, I love it? Yeah, do you not remember it from Sapphire? Uh, I mean, Sapphire was a long time ago, but that was would have been the last time you saw this Pokemon. Hello, friends. Hello, Scout of the Woods. Your name has changed slightly. I don't, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, Scout. How are you doing? Have you changed your name? Oh, is that a new account? Did you get locked out of your old one? Or have you just changed your name? I changed my name, yes. Oh, well, Scout of the Woods, welcome. Welcome home. How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful morning today, my good friend. I realize and then worried you would recognize me. <laughs> well, I, I got you, so don't worry. Don't worry. But welcome. Hopefully you're well. All right. What do I eat for breakfast every morning? So... I just realized the question. Yeah, so here's the thing. Here's my here's my, uh, my, my thought process, H7. In camp, we make a lot of curries, right? So maybe curry is the national dish of Galar. Yeah, exactly, KMS. So, let's go with that. Oh, oh my, I actually prefer omelets. Ah, you sneaky cow. How dare you? <laughs> God damn it. Trick question. I know, right? I feel... I feel... I feel scammed. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Electri Sorry, Toxtricity might be in trouble. She's just saying so. Can't trust her word. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, what a silly question. I know, right? <laughs> I like new soccer kit, by the way. Thanks. I appreciate that. We're looking fancy as ever. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Discharge. Nice. One of my absolute favorite electric moves of all time. 8-2 power, but a good chance to paralyze the opponent. I think it's 30%. May sound low, but it's better than a lot of electric moves. I adore Discharge. It's so good. Uh, Spark is gone. Uh, in fact, eh, well, I mean, now that we have Discharge, both of these... Uh, well, no, Nuzzle still serves a purpose. We'll get rid of Spark. You table flipping? Oh, table flip them all. I like God of War's animation in this game. Very soft. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? You all love discharging Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Really? Cool. I love discharging. It's so good. I love it. Oh, um, yeah. And Scout, we found a cup of tea. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, I can't show you, but we found a cup of tea Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, Sinisty wants to learn Giga Drain, which is a better form of Mega Drain, so we'll go with that. A cup of tea? Ah, I'll show you in a second. Yeah. Poor touch just see got an ear infection from sitting in the bath for five hours a day. Luckily, it's good for combat. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it, it's using that rage from its infection to uh, kick some ass, at least. Feodora. I play a strong trainer, but I'm also a liar. I, I, I give you terrible questions that make no sense. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh. Decided moves is so hard sometimes. It can be moon magic. Main, I'd say main thing to look at is how much damage it does, and then if it's got any added benefits, but also look at accuracy. There's no point having a 200 attack power move if it's only 10% accurate, because you're always going to miss, really. Uh, cup of tea? Oh, I love a cup of tea. I I'll show you when I can. I'll, I'll do my best, because it looks pretty cool. We should be focusing on the gym challenge, but Miss Opal insisted on making this an audition. All right, off you pop, Wolf, off you pop. Well, let's have some more, shall we? Oh, wait, no, we're done. Oh, oh, we're done. My cover score, I just evolved to Corviknight and learned Steel Wing from that battle. Nice, nice. Cool, shred them all with Corviknight. Congratulations, good chum. You have successfully completed the gym mission. Now, I wonder if you've met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader? Uh, uh, challenge it down? No, not yet, not yet. Of course, you probably need to save a record of your progress and whatnot. Yes, yes, tally ho. Uh, right, let me quickly show you uh, my cup of tea. There you go, Scout. Uh, oh, that was easy? Yeah. Yeah, so not the hardest questions in the world. Uh, back in Generation 1, um, the you had to answer questions for the 7th gym, the Cinnabar Island Fire Gym. And there were some tricky questions and there were also some interesting questions as well. Uh, I think one of them was uh, true or false, TM whatever is Tombstoner. Well, Tombstone is not a move, so you got to know about certain TMs and all that. It was, it was pretty fun. Oh my god, Sinistee, oh my. Oh my god, I love it. Isn't that adorable? There's a cup of tea Pokemon? Absolutely, Moon Magic. Yeah, this, um, this region is very British, so it stands to reason. I would fail so hard. Well, yeah, the thing with um, the Generation 1 one KMS is that if you failed, you had to take on the Pokemon uh, trainer there in order to advance. And um, it was often a better thing, a better thing to actually f fight the trainer because you train your Pokemon. So it's actually not a bad thing to get it wrong, but you learn from it at least. Um, one of my new favorites. Oh, there you go. There you go. Is it a ghost type? Yeah, it is. We can actually evolve it now into what I'm going to assume is a teapot. Um, but we've not decided on whether we should do that yet. Fail so you can take summer school and learn more? Even better. Even better, right? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Okay. Alright, let's take on the gym leader. Also, look at that armchair in the bottom right hand corner. I want that in my house. Uh, but yes, let's go. Right then, head on in. Give my regards to the gym leader. Tell you her, chop chop and all that, rather. I want a teapot. Um, pro, pro Evolve, yeah? We might do it, we might do it. We only get one teapot per playthrough, I think, so we might do it. I don't know, we'll see. That would go lovely with your stag wallpaper. <gasps> yeah, I do have stag wallpaper, don't I? It would. I do need a new chair. I'm not into my recliner anymore. I want a new chair, so that would be nice. Hey, Aesthetic. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're well, my good friend. If you have not seen a gym battle in Pokemon Sword and Shield yet, you're in for a treat. So, uh, yeah. 
But welcome. Welcome, Aspatic. Hopefully you're well. <sighs> I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader, and you're absolutely lovely, young man. I've gotten a good look at how you handled those quizzes. You obviously watch a bit too much daytime TV. Oh, don't worry, love, so do I. The last part of the mission... Mm, ...is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. That is an old lady voice from the north of England. You're welcome. Oh, this will be my first. Oh my god, this all Baba Yaga. <laughs> Baba Yaga lady. Nice. <laughs> it's battle time against the fairy type gym leader, Opal. Let's go. All these flirty older ladies in DJ streams. <laughs> oh, what? DJ doesn't attract the older ladies, so oh, gosh. <laughs> Whoa! What have they done to Weezing? What have they done to Weezing? So Weezing is a Generation 1 Pokemon, it was a purple thing, and now it's got a friggin' Chimney Steam Hat thing! Industrialism got to it, yeah! Weezing is a chap, yeah, look at his hat! Oh, I love it, and the moustache and the beard! This was released early too? Oh, you can tell how well I've avoided spoilers. Alright, um... All right, we have to assume that it's fairy, but at the same time, we have to assume it's poison, right? Fairy poison? I really wanted to show someone this design, but it was spoilers. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. That's so fun, I love it. 10 out of 10? Yeah, amazing, right? All right, um, okay. Let's confirm that it's fairy and poison type. So we'll go with Venishock first. I love the design, yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? All right, that's a neutral hit, okay. Ooh, tackle! Scary! Oh god, questions? Do you know my nickname? No? Oh, I have to yeah, yeah, I've read that. This is the most English Pokemon yet? I know, right? Isn't it good? <laughs> the wizard? The magic user? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before we took on the gym mission, she said that, um, she said, uh, the, the questions were a way of adding, like, fair, fairy magic, right? I think she's used the term fairy magic, so it'd be magic user. I feel bad now, Scout said wizard, but she's only guessing, so I don't know. Um, they're both ter I mean, they're both terrible, I know, but still. Um, I was saying that, no, I quite like the wizard. I quite like the wizard, but... I'm gonna go magic user, I'm sorry, Scout! No! Scout was right! Scout, I will never... I will never... Yeah, god damn it. Trust you. I, 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 don't, I don't trust myself anymore. Everyone trust in Scout. God damn it. Using logic never works with Pokemon questions, just like that cat you want. Yeah, the wizard sounds like you're a hacker. You throw wizard around a lot. I know, I, I love wizard, and yet I don't go for it, KMS. God damn it. Scout, queen of quizzes. Me, I'm terrible. God damn it. All right, anyway, back to something I do know a little about, and that's battling. <laughs> All right, there you go. Discharge, a fantastic move. Big fan of that. All right, sweet. So we are working with lower speed. However, toxicity is... Uh, this toxicity in, in particular is actually quite slow. Um, so that's fine. All right. Oh god, Marwile. Uh, fairy Steel. Uh, so Poison's not gonna work. Uh, we'll try Cinderace. Okay, so let's take a look at Marwile. Marwile is a strange looking Pokemon, but strangely beautiful in a way. Let's take a look at it. I like Marwile. Yeah, we've got quite a few Marwile fans in the community. It's a funny looking Pokemon. But I kind of like it. So we are going to get hit by Intimidate, Marwell's ability. Intimidate will lower our attack power. Uh, we're going to just gonna, we're gonna throw our most powerful move at it, really. What the heck? I know. It's a strange looking Pokemon because it's got like the face on the one side, but it's got this big kind of jaw on the left. It's odd, but it's kind of cool in a way. 
Hey SP, how you doing man? Welcome to the stream my friend, hopefully you're well, hopefully you're most well. Let me know about your day, good sir. This Cinderace looks like Mickey Mouse character. I know, I love Cinderace. Cinderace is so good. Ah, another one of my old favorites, Togekiss. Nice. Yeah, SP's here, feels good man, feels good. Nice to have you man, nice to have you. All right, I didn't mean to do that. All right. Say hello to the Terror of the Skies, Togekiss. Uh, Togekiss was an interesting Pokemon back in my battling days because uh, it has an ability called Serene Grace. And what it would mean for Togekiss is that it would double the chances of its ability to flinch you. Now, it, it doubles the chances of more than that, but it doubles the chances of its ability to flinch you, which turned it from a 30% chance to flinch you of a slash to 60%, which meant that you were flinched forever. So, um, yeah, feels bad, man. Togekiss is OP as hell? It can be, absolutely. I like that one. I used to adore this Pokemon KMS, but an absolute terror to fight. Uh, just been at work all day, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry, SP. Uh, put your feet up, lad. Get a cup of tea. Enjoy the stream. <laughs> Purple, wait, oh there's so much pink. They're so similar. Woman Magenta? Uh I'm gonna go with pink. No, wait. Just to rename the ability description to a grants for percent more chance to flinch on attacks. Yeah. Basically. Like you never I, I, I think I saw one really kind of niche uh, suggestion about ancient power doubling up. So you said your outfit needs more pink? Yeah. I like that too. I like that too. That's what I like to see in other people. No, no, but it's not the favorite. Oh, no. All right, these questions are dumb. <laughs> oh, man, a meme sweeper. Yeah, that's what I used once. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. God, I'm getting destroyed here. You gotta do the opposite of the logic, basically. Oh, no. Okay. All right, um, we're in a bit of trouble here. We're in a bit of trouble. Holy crap, okay. Uh, this is just mean, I know, right? So SP, one of the gimmicks with this uh, gym, if you hadn't guessed, is that if we get a question wrong, our stats get lowered. Okay, ancient power. Oh, it, oh, it got it. Oh, no. Hopefully it's really smart with playing you to think a certain way. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, she's got us. All right, unfortunately, Toxtricity's not going to be able to do a darn thing here unless we gamble. We're going to gamble. We're going to Dynamax. Let's do it. Okay. So, perhaps not the best idea, but we are going to use our free turns of Dynamax. Remember, in gym battles now, you will have free turns of Dynamax. What this does is it will increase your Pokemon's HP and strength, and it will change its moves to be a lot stronger as well. <sighs> you should have watched her battle on the Pokemon telly so you know the answers. Oh, wow. Really? Was that actually a thing? Wow. Yeah, I wasn't able to do that, unfortunately. Oh, that's actually really unfortunate. Okay. Oh, you joke? All right, okay. <laughs> that's a really good joke then. <laughs> okay. Um, well, don't I feel stupid. Our Dynamax Pokemon is actually going to perish here. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, Hyper Potion. Let's do it. Cheating on my Pokemon field. <laughs> More likely than you think. Yeah, a lot of cheating happens, I'm sure, in football matches. God damn it. This Togekiss is so strong! Alrighty then, how old am I? Um, 88. We well, are not wrong, but you could have been a. What?! Oh, can you? Oh! Oh, Exo. Oh, Exo, you're brilliant. That's interesting. Well, this is a big boy. Yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm going to off myself at this. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to die, so we may as well go down with 
with honor, I guess. God damn it. All right, so Toxtricity, even in Dynamax mode, was not enough. Yeah, the debuffs are a bit too strong, unfortunately. All right, what's our next uh, best bet here? So, with uh, Togekiss being part flying, uh, Bolton should do good work here, being an electric type. And, all right, let's see how we can do here. Uh, let's go Spark. Draining Kiss, this could do damage. Have to go see you soon. Have a good night, Master General. Thanks for watching, bud. I'll see you next time. Farewell, my good friend. Farewell. All right. Please paralyze. God damn it. He's so handsome. He's such a good boy, isn't he? But I think he's in trouble. Oh, KMS. Oh, God. We're in trouble here. Mm. Yeah, this is Yampa. Yeah, this is our Yampa. Yampa evolved into Bolton. Pray for a low roll? I don't think that's going to do anything, right? I don't think we're going to get one. Ah, oh, that's annoying. And then you can crit and power. <laughs> God. Uh, we have revives, so it's okay. Um... Music's banging, by the way. It's not Meowth. It's never Meowth. No, we Cinderace it. Uh, can't speak to imagine. She's actually cheating. I know, right? <laughs> it's probably Rose's mother. Two down. Yeah, we're struggling here. We're struggling. We need to try and brute force this now. Oh, Ursulash is just going to kill. Oh, wait, no, we're not a fighting type. Why do I keep thinking Cinderace is a fighting type? And of course it flinches. Ah, this is so annoying. All right, okay. All right, DJ, calm down. <laughs> I can do it, DJ. Oh, I hope so, KMS. So that's probably Serene Grace uh, in action right there. Uh, the move that she used, Air Slash, is not the strongest. Uh, well, it's decently strong. It's a decently strong move. But it, the main effect is that it flinches 30% of the time. With Serene Grace, its ability, it bumps that up to 60. My god, we are getting nothing done quickly here. Soul Chunks for a decent amount. Yeah, it does alright. It gets stabbed, doesn't it? But holy crap, man. What's Cinderace's second type? It's just a fire type. Cinderace is just a fire type. Alright, okay, right. Our best bet here. Go, go, teacup. Yeah. <laughs> Oh lordy. Right, we need to max revive someone. We're gonna do Toss Rest Team. We're gonna play the long game. Okay. Alright, here comes the Air Slash. It avoided it. So Air Slash is 95% accurate, so that will happen. Uh. Ooh, Sucker Punch? It won't do much. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, man. You've been in tougher spots than this. I, I know, but man, this is testing me here. Alright, I need to nuzzle it. I need to nuzzle it. Alright, alright. Toxtricity is back. This is probably not even the strongest Pokemon, by the way, because she's not Dynamax or anything. Alright, we need one nuzzle. We need one nuzzle. Uh, I am sorry about the teacup moon magic. Don't worry, the teacup. Uh, it was it was a necessary sacrifice. All right, Togekiss is now paralyzed. Thank you. Right now, Vanishok, please do damage. So we should now go first on a lot of these. Togekiss isn't the quickest. Fully para paralyzed. No, Dragon Kiss. That's fine. Thank you. Our, our good for nothing son did something great for once in his life. Yeah, but can he pull this off? Uh, we are now out of uh, Venice Shocks, but Discharge should do the work here. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Sure. Hit that range. Whatever. All right. Punky Boy's got this. I think a Discharge might do it. Yeah. All right. Oh, I need to lie down. <laughs> Alright, okay, so... 
Um, apologies to Bolton, Sinister, and Meow if you get no experience from that. Feels bad. Yeah, we got it. Hat trim. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Calm Mind. So Hat Trim, our Psychic type, wants to learn Calm Mind. It will raise special attack and special defense. It's a wonderful move. Oh, thank you for the hugs. Thank you for the hugs, KMS. Always appreciate it. Always appreciate it. No crying, H7. I got this. I got this, buddy. I got this. Cinderace gets to level 40 as well. All right. Final Pokemon. Oh, it's hard for me. I have a feeling I've seen this one before, unfortunately. <sighs> Scout! Scout of the Woods! Just before my utter demise, Scout of the Woods comes out from nowhere. And she subs for the six month in a row. I subscribed for six months. I appreciate that, Scout. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You are friggin' awesome. Thank you for the sub. And holy crap, enjoy your Ludicolo badge. Were you always on Ludicolo badge? Either way, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Big salutes to you. You are friggin' awesome. All right, okay. I'm feeling it now. Let's friggin' do this. Let's go, Toxtricity. My morning tea is finally kicking in! Oh god, a one-time slime shooting me as well with that with that sub when I'm trying to do an old lady voice. One-time slime, thank you for the 10 months, appreciate it. Guess who? The kindest Apex Legends player in the history of the universe. Thank you for the sub there, appreciate it. How are you doing today, one-time slime? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you are most well. And uh, glad you got your PC back and I hope to see you stream soon. Freaking awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. OTS. We're about to get destroyed by a giant cake. Right. Let's bloody do this. Um, oh, we're going to use toxic. So. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. <laughs> Opal will call back Alchemy. We'll use the power of Dynamax to increase the size and the power to create the most delicious thing you've ever seen on the Great British Bake Off. My Rindos was corrupted? Ah, oh, dude, that sucks. I miss you, OTS. Yeah, I miss you, bud. You lack pink. Here, let us give you some. <laughs> love these new emotes. Glad you love them, man. Here we go. And we just got friggin' well, tickled, apparently. All right, so again, the way that Dynamax works is that both trainers will have Dynamax ability for three turns. So we need to survive for three turns. I think we can do this, guys. Yeah, I just noticed the new emotes. I love them. Yeah, glad you like them. Glad you like them. Um, yeah, so we have a dab and a gift emote on tier one now, along with your regular free. But there's also a shiny Ludicolo III on tier two, which only two people in my... Uh, in my community are able to use, but I'm always happy to see it. And we will have a tier free soon. Stall time? Absolutely, Exo. Absolutely. <laughs> Bad cake? I mean, it might be delicious, right? <laughs> tier free soon to come? Yeah. Eat it, Toxtricity. No, there will be no eating of cake for Toxtricity. Toxtricity hates cake. Uh, what we need right now is, a, is uh, access to our toxic type move. Uh, sorry, not toxic type move. Uh, poison type move. So we are going to use a Leper Berry on Toxtricity. What this will do is it will allow us to use Venice Shock again. Remember that every move has PP. It means the amount of times you're able to use that move before you can't use it. We'd run out of uh, Venice Shocks. Now we have some. Crowd are going wild. They're chanting my name. We are being splooshed by cake relentlessly. Toxtricity is the type of guy who goes to the gym and makes fun of the bad people in there. Oh, that's so mean. He's a good boy, really. He's a good boy. And we have stalled out the three turns, and now Alchemy is back down to being a wee one. We are going to make sure that we do not fail this by healing up one last time. This battle has well and truly walloped us. DJ, would you ever play New Luigi's Mansion on stream? Absolutely. Um, not bought it yet, but I'll absolutely do that when I do get it. Oh, man. I mean, Magic enjoying the popcorn as she enjoys this epic battle. Get him. DJ, DJ, DJ. Let's freaking do this. I would love that. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick it on my list. Uh, yes, I don't have the game yet, unfortunately, but I'll stick it on my list. Now, I'm hoping that Alchemy is simply just 
a, um, a fairy type. Yes, super effective confirmed. Let's see how this goes. Sweet Kiss misses, and Toxtricity with one last blast destroys alchemy. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Woo! Crowd goes wild. Hit 7 KMS SP. Crowd goes wild, man. Oh, thank you for the 200 bits. I appreciate that. Big hugs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I haven't played Luigi's Mansion on GameCube whilst my PC was gone. Oh, really? Oh, good job, man. I want to be able to stream the original as well. Oh, I want 100 bits from Scout. Thank you, Scout. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You guys are so friggin' generous. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that so much. That umbrella went flying. Yeah, she yeeted that thing out of the place. You did the impossible. We did, H7. <laughs> uh, her nose? I know, right? Isn't it lovely? Get a lot of this voice, though. Oh, your pink is still lacking, but you're awfully handsome, and you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. Oh, lovely. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like a... Yeah, what do you mean, OTS? What do you mean? Corgi Bits? Yeah, Corgi Bits. Thanks for those guys. Appreciate it. Yay! Yappa Bits. We did it! Get old. Get cut old. Uh, what am I saying? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just reading the chat right now. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. All right. Holy crap! I'm exhausted. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I sleep? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not sleeping. <sighs> well, good try. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still, not what I'm looking for at all. Oh, don't worry yourself, me lovely. It's just a matter of me preference. I, I, I like them a bit taller, you see. I'll find the next gym leader elsewhere. Love you too, DJ. Oh, you're the best. Thank you. Love you too, guys. In fact, I've already got an idea about where to look. Cool. Too bad about the audition. But here's a fairy type badge for your efforts. Oh, lovely. Northern Granny, I'll have you know I'm 18 years old, you bugger. I'm going to give you the back of my hand, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yes. We did it! We can now catch Pokemon up to level 45. Oh, take this TM with you too, love. A little bonus from this old lady. Drugs never again. Oh, God. <laughs> we get draining kiss. It would be quite a draining kiss if she went in for one right now. Run away, Dan. Run away. Uh, but yes, Draining Kiss was the move that she used. Fairy type move. It will do damage, but we'll also get some HP back when we use it. Oh, lastly, here's a little something for humour in me. This might help add a little more pink to you. Fairy uniform. Should we wear it? Never accept TNs from old ladies. I know. Right? <laughs> oh, man. I know. Oh, the dance game for real. Oof. Yeah, you don't want any of that. Oh, me arthritis. Of course, it's not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should also know when it's time to step out at Spotlight. I'm going to go home, get myself my favourite biscuits on a lovely saucer, and I'm going to get a cup of tea in front at six o'clock news and, uh, and just enjoy the night. I probably get a, an early night. I'm tired after all this battling, Lark. I a lovely cup of tea. Oh. Some of you Americans are probably thinking, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> I thought she was going to plant a big wet pink lipstick smooch on his cheek. Yeah, I, I mean, that would have been funny. I like that. Then she'd become dust. <laughs> Gosh. Old ladies love jammy dodges. I bet it's them. Oh, oh yeah. Regular jammy dodger, right? I love old lady DJ voice so much. We've been using it since Celeste, haven't we, KMS? It's a good one, isn't it? Well, glad you guys love it. Oh, you received TM, a TM from Leader Opal, yes? The next gym waits for you in... Uh, oh. What pronunciation are we going for here? Is it Churchester or Surchester? Because, like, there are some places in England which would put CI as Sai, like Sirencester. What, what would we go for? What do you reckon? 
We have it so good. Me too. Glad you love it, guys. I do the first, but I'm not English. I forgot what the first one was. Sir Chester? Sir Chester, right? Are we going for Sir Chester? Light circle? Okay, we'll go with Sir Chester. There we go. We did it, guys. We did it! Woo! Yeah! It's like Worcestershire. It's sauce. Yeah, aye. Aye. We'll probably, we'll probably find some somewhere. Aye, go on. Talk about me. He's really strong! Yay! Oh. You're something else, kid. Ah, Buzzerp indeed. Love me. Love me, everybody. Love me. Thought it was Churchester. Oh, you would have gone for Churchester? Yeah, see, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, pfft, either way, it's all good. Um, so how do you change into these uniforms? Exo, if you're around, have you figured this out? Churchester? Yeah, I, I, I was so confused, honestly, KMS. I don't know how to go for it, really. Um, I mean, Suchester sounds fun, I guess. Pichetia, Pichetia. Let's kill Old Thing off. Well, that was weird. What? All my, all my, all my suits? Changing room in the corner? Oh, yeah, don't buy it. Uh, I tried going there, but it wouldn't let me for some reason. Let me have another go. Maybe I'm dumb. I might be dumb. Let's find out. Is this the changing room? Or is this the changing room? Which one's the changing room? Can I not change now? Do I change here? Never dumb. I am so smart. <laughs> Just can't figure this one out, apparently. Hmm, in a closed store. Right, okay. Ah, right, that's unfortunate then. <gasps> we get access to Ultra Balls! Yeah! Ultra Balls are good balls! Nice. Faceplant store. <laughs> yeah, that's pathetic. Oh, you mean this one? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Smack! Right to the door. <laughs> I tried potato, potato. I tried to spell them differently. No, it's alright. I knew what you were going for. Don't you worry, fella. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, hello. <gasps> Hold on now. <sighs> this is it. The kiss. Best balls on Twitch. You know it. I got a few errands to run in Amalok. Care to join me for journey, love? Uh, if you're ready for next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Amalok too, after all. Yeah, why not? They say two's company, after all. Ooh. An evening liaison, yeah. <laughs> the dance game. I know, right? Oh. God, here we go, we're back. Oh, the way you held my hand as we crossed those roads. I like you, young man, I like you. Ooh. <laughs> Care to escort me? Oof, oof. An offer I can't refuse. Oh, oh I'm a lock, always such a dusty town. That's probably why you like it so much, love. <laughs> Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Look at the speed in which she walks, guys. Like, oh, and, uh, and she's gone. She's gone. She's gone, guys. She's gone. We did it. We did it. Didn't we do well? All right. Cool. She loves the dusty town because she can relate. Exactly. Exactly. All right. She loved us and left us. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Feels bad, man. That nose. That nose was a beauty. <laughs> God love her. God love her. All right. Should we evolve Sinistee? So, for those of you who didn't see us catch it, but it's a night you'll never forget. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> for those of you who went here, we have caught Sinistee, a Pokemon that looks like a cup of tea. We have the ability to evolve it right now. Would you like to see its evolution live on the Upstart DJ channel right now? We've got a yes from KMS. We've got a yes from Aesthetic. We've got a yes from H7. Give me one more. Give me one more, guys. Yes yeah from Scout. Yes from Moon Magic. Of course from Exo. Yes from SP. All right, Sinistee. You're doing it. All right. Uh, all right, where are you? So I'm going to use my, my teapot. Where is my teapot? My teapot is here. Teapots work like evolution stones. You evolve a Pikachu by throwing a Thunderstone at it. You evolve a Sinistee by throwing a Crack Pot at it. 
It's only fitting. Yes. Rather, get ready to drink your tea, ladies and gentlemen, as our little, uh, little sinister here becomes uh, a big sinister, probably. Yes. Rather. Here we go. This is what you can do with your crap teapots, ladies and gentlemen, as we now have a sinister. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, not sinister. A poltergeist. Poltergeist. Like poltergeist, but tea. <laughs> That's so funny that they use teapots like Evo Stones. Who thought of this? I know, right? Crazy. Oh my god, yeah. It's like a hermit crab? Kinda, yeah. QT? I like it. I love it so much. I know, isn't it great, Kerem? That's very aye, aye, aye. I just noticed the teacup one is holding the handle with its pinky out. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so cute. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, talking of amazing. Thank you for the 300 bits. I appreciate that. You are friggin' amazing, KMS. Thank you so much. Glad you enjoy Poltygeist here. Oh, right, proper Poltygeist. That's how the Welsh say it. Oh, I got a Poltygeist I have, right? Oh, there we go. Poltygeist, the black tea Pokemon. This species lives in antique teapots. Uh, most pots are forgeries, but on rare occasions, an authentic work is found. There you go. There you go. Poltygeist, indeed. Poltygeist would like to learn... <laughs> Poltergeist wants to learn the move, Tea Time. Oh, you bet your ass we're learning that, bad boy. We've waited so long, I know, right? Oh, I love it. The move. So, Tea Time. The user has Tea Time with all the Pokemon in the battle. Each Pokemon eats its held berry. Oh, we gotta try it, right? The tea puns. I know, they're too much, right? Alright, we gotta try it. We gotta try it. Okay, we have to try it. Alright. All right, that's so weird. I know, we're gonna experiment. We're gonna experiment. Okay, so, um, okay, we can do this. So, here's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna go to our bag, and, so from my understanding uh, of the description, where are my berries actually? Uh, there we are. So from my understanding of the description, uh, tea time will allow a Pokemon who's holding a berry to use it even if they're not in battle. So, it's a really good household and just feels so obligated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, Ganland Berry. All right, so we're going to give a Ganland Berry to Meowth. There we go. And then we're going to go battle with Palti Poltergeist. Maybe it's a gym with lots of berries or something. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. We have uh, some sweet with your tea. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys get it. You guys get tea more than I do. <laughs> I, I don't actually drink tea. I'm very bad at being English. All right, okay. Now let's go and find a battle. I have a bike. Aha. Look at me. Ride my bike, guys. I'd like to ride my bicycle. I'd like to ride my bike. <laughs> oh, man. Right, where is the nearest grass? Over here, I believe. Okay, I just want to see the animation for tea time, pretty much. Um, I do need a new year mask, actually. Let's go get a new one. To be honest, uh, though I'd rather have Hot Vimto than a tea any day. Ooh, Hot Vimto, aye. Lovely, lovely that. Good old Hot Vimto, don't blame you. That's good stuff. All right, so when we use tea time, um, our one of our Pokemon would use its berry. Uh, I forgot who we go to berry to. Meowth, that is. So, tea time. First of all, the animation. It's tea time. Every. Oh. Okay. Everyone dug into the berry, but nothing happened. Interesting. Okay. So, maybe. So, I wonder if Poltergeist gets the effect of the berry that's eaten. Um. Okay. Alright, let's try again. Oh, maybe it's a doubles battle. Oh, maybe. Does it just pass a turn and get the buff? Either either that or is a doubles battle item. That sounds interesting. Okay, uh, we need a berry wood that would actually do something then. Um, okay, so we're gonna give. It doesn't consume the berry either, so that's good. Yeah, it's basically like Ribena. All right, uh, you. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, Trap Inch. Uh, there you go. A Trap Inch, a Gen 3 Pokemon. May have seen it in our Pokemon Sapphire playthrough. Right, okay. 
So, tea time. So this will confirm if it is a doubles move. Right. So that suggests to me it's a doubles move. Wait, did you get the mask? Uh, no, I ran away from it. We do need to get another one, though. I say we... Well, do we? I mean, we, we kind of do. Okay. So tea time, in, I'm going to assume, is a doubles battle move. So that's kind of unfortunate. But at the same time, it would be okay. Would be fun to evolve it? It would, actually. Because I've not seen the... Um, the Galar version of it. The Galar uh, version of uh, the evolution. Um, so we should really. We have regular you mask, but we want the other one. Um, all right, so now that uh, Sinistry is actually fully evolved, we actually need a new Pokemon to evolve. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go find you mask. That's a good idea. Okay, mask, that is a bloody good idea. Uh, right, what have we got here? We got, there we go. There's one. Right there. Would be fun. Yeah, let's evolve it. Let's try and evolve it if we're able. Uh, right, okay. So, Poltegeist's tea time move, uh, we can't actually see any kind of cool animation. So that's unfortunate, but it's fine. Now, oh, can you survive a plus five level super effective Giga Drain, which isn't stab? Maybe, let's find out. The little legs dangling out. I know, right? Isn't it adorable? Oh, I love it. Yeah, a, lo a lot of the, um... Damn it. A lot of the Pokemon, like, uh, ghost types and fairy types and whatnot tend to, like, um... possess things, so to speak. You know, keys and teapots and all that. It's super cool to see that. Little TJS. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, alright, Poltergeist, uh, you're a little too strong. A little too strong. Let's uh, let's get Toxie back on, and uh, let's get rid of this bike. So let's look for a Yamask here. Um, we got Dug Trio. We've got Helioptile. Uh, let's see. No Yamask here yet. This could be a Yamask. Oh no, it's a Durant. We don't actually have a Durant. There are Pokemon around here that we haven't actually caught. We probably could do with catching it, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see what a Discharge does. If Discharge lowers it enough, we'll get it. Uh, but yeah, Durant is a Steel and Bug-type Pokemon from... Gen 6 and dies instantly. Durant, I know, and now he's dead. God damn it, I'm too strong. <laughs> I'm too strong. <laughs> Uh well, I'm oh, our, our little boy is too strong, KMS. Too darn strong. Ooh, Duskull. Okay, right. I don't know if we have a Duskull. Do we have a Duskull? No, we don't. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna nuzzle. <laughs> Discharge is way too strong. I don't think we got Duskull, no. We're gonna paralyze it. We're gonna do a bit of damage with Nuzzle. And then we're going to throw an Ultra Ball at it. And hope for the best. Oh, man. Yeah, let's catch some Pokemon, shall we, guys? Let's catch some Pokemon. Yeah! Feels good. Oh, man. All right. Okay, so we'll get a bit of experience from that. Nice. Yeah. So Duskull uh, is not from this gen, but it's, it's good to catch them all, right? Or just murder a bunch of them. That too. That too. <laughs> I'm here to save all these animals. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Duskull, the Requiem Pokemon. If it's if it finds bad children who won't listen to their parents, it will spirit them away. Or so it said. <laughs> Be good to your parents, ladies and gentlemen. Or Duskull's coming for you. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> wow. Isn't that funny? Wow. Po Pokedexes, man. Pokedexes are sinister as heck. Holy crap, man. Uh, that's so dark. I know, isn't it? Um, do we actually have a Helioptile? It's the, the Boogeyman? Yeah, exactly. Be nice to your parents, guys. Always listen to your parents. Uh, do we have a Helioptile? Uh, we don't. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna nuzzle, and then we're gonna throw an Ultra Ball. Love this little boy. I love Helioptile. So good! 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh ow. Ooh, okay. That was actually quite strong. If it was actually if it actually had good um uh good uh, good level, it probably would have done a lot of damage. Cutie pup? Yeah, he's a cutie. I love him. I, I used him a Oh, critical capture. Nice. Uh, I used to use him a lot um, back in the day. Um, his uh, evol evolved form, Helio Lisk, I believe. Um, very cool Pokemon. Nice. Let's take a look at Helioptile. Helioptile, the generator Pokemon. Electric and normal. Interesting. When spread, the frills on its head act like solar panels, generating the power behind this Pokemon's electric moves. And is friggin' adorable, right? Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Up tiles a cutie. I know, right? The friggin' dangly ears and everything. I adore it. Uh, come here, you bugger. It's a cute boy. I love him. I love him too. Oh! Oh, we found Silly Cobra! Yeah! Silly Cobra! Alright, okay. So we've seen this Pokemon before in the storyline. Uh, Team Yell were like, yo, um, be nice to Silly Cobra. But uh, yeah, we've not actually seen one yet. Snakey Lad, yeah. Nice, nice. So the only thing that we know about Silly Cobra is that it's a ground type. And what that means is um, this is probably going to hurt. Yeah, sorry. To sorry, Tox <laughs> Um We're times four weak to ground, so yeah, that was inevitable. But as it is a ground type, it's actually immune to electric type moves. So we can't paralyze it in the same way uh, we did with the other Pokemon. He looks depressed. I yeah, I think that's the point of it, really. Yeah, he looks a little weepy. Yeah, but don't worry about it. He's about to go onto Team Dan, and Team Dan is the best team. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Snap. Yeah, got that jinx going on. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, we did it. Hatchrim is the sweetest Pokemon. I love it so much. I know. I adore Hatchrim too. Hatchrim's so good. You are correct, sir. Yay. Oh, there you go. There you go. We love ourselves from Team Dan. Woo! DJ, team best team. Woo! Yeah! Silly Cobra, the Sand Snake Pokemon, ground type. As it digs, it swallows sand and stone and stores it in its neck pouch. The pouch can hold more than 17 pounds of sand. So, I mean, would you guys be smiling if you had to have 17 pounds of sand wrapped around your neck? And yes, seven foot as well. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. There you go. That's silly, Cobra. Cheers for that one, buddy. Cheers for that one. Jesus. I know, right? Poor guy. Uh, Helioptile, the trios. We are blanking on your masks here. Let's go to a new patch. There we go. All right, sweet. All right. Dear DJ, this is your brain. You have killed too many Pokemon in the pursuit of trying to capture them. Please do not kill this one. Yours truly, your brain. All right, will do, brain. Will do. Uh, all right, Dazzling Gleam. Because you murdered them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm such a bad man. Oh god, TJ Brain best brain. Yeah, he, he likes to remind me not to do dumb stuff sometimes. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> oh god damn it! One, two, three, click. Yeah. All right, so we got ourselves a your mask. All right, sweet. So, yeah, as I said, your mask isn't new, but its form is. And so I'm curious as to what it evolves into. Now, I'm not going to go over what his regular form evolved into, because that might give it away a little bit. Um, but, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to swap out Poltergeist. Apologies if you're a big fan of Poltergeist. We're mainly evolving a bunch of these Pokemon on our adventure just so we can see their evolution. So apologies for Poltergeist fans there. But we're going to go with your mask and we're going to go with Meow for now. Yeah, we did it. We did it. All right, we need to get home. We need to get home. Uh, there were other Pokemon here. Um, but we can catch some later. Let's get home and let's heal up a wee bit. Oh, and let's hope we can get a Yamask evolution. I don't know when Yamask evolves. That's the problem. 
It's so exciting seeing uh, the new Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. The new forms uh, are super cool, and the new Pokemon themselves are super cool. So, yeah. Uh, th this is just how you've got to kind of learn about Pokemon if you're not willing to ruin the surprise by going to a Pokemon website like Bulbapedia or uh, Cerebi.net. Like I don't want to, I don't want to kind of have everything given to me like that. I want to learn it if I'm able. So, kind of got to do this method. Even a lot of the old ones are new to me. Yeah, and it's great for people who may only know Gen One or have only seen a little bit of Pokemon or seen nothing at all, because like then they've got the full range of Pokemon to learn about. So, uh, yeah, it's super cool. Um, oh, this is a close shop, isn't it? That's such a good point, DJ. Yeah, I mean, it's just the way it's got to be done, right? Uh, okay, right, hold up, hold up, right. So, you said changing room, right? Alright, so... Our kit's at the end. Uh, yeah, here we go. Alright, so... <laughs> after five gym battles, we finally realized how to change our kit. <laughs> Oh man, what do I go for, guys? What do I go for? Oh, I don't know. Which one do I like? Not the challenger one. The steel one is the one we bought. I don't know, I think that makes us look pretty buff, right? I always have Bulbapedia open when I'm playing a new Pokemon game because I don't have the patience. I mean, that's fine. Like, play it your own way, obviously. But for me, I like to learn on the go. Steel is cool. I like that one. Or the fire one. You like fire? Yeah. Oh yeah, fire's pretty cool. This was from Kobu, wasn't it? Yeah. Steel or fire? Oof. Mm. I don't know. Oh, two DJ. I know, right? Oh, I hate making decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, as we actually spent the money on the steel uniform and the rest of freebies, we'll go with steel. Um, hopefully that's okay with everyone. Uh, Alright, okay. Alright, sweet. Yes. Update my lead card. Wait, was my lead card... Oh, wait, no, I have to wear this out? Oh, wait. Do I not, like, change for... I'm so confused. Where are my other clothes? Oh, I don't want to wear it every time. I just want to wear it for the battles. No, 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 this is no good. This is no good. Okay. Here's what I'm hoping. I'm not sure either. Yeah, here's what I'm hoping. Now that I've picked it as a thing, I'm hoping that it will now remember it. Such a cute card. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I worked, worked pretty hard on it. <laughs> um, all right, where's my shuckle? Where's my shuckle? There we go. All right, I, I, need, I need my regular clothes. Oh, I can just wear the steel shorts. Look at that, steel shorts and steel socks. Nice. Um, what were we wearing? I can't remember what we were wearing. Is it those? No, it was. Oh, those are cute. I don't know. What I remember. I don't remember what we were wearing. Uh, I don't want to wear those. It was a purple, was it? Right. Okay. Thank you. I can't remember. Holy crap! And the white shoes, I think. All right. Cheers. Um, I don't think socks matter. Yeah, we wore compression tights, didn't we? And we wore white shoes. Designer. I know, right? <laughs> oh yeah, because I, I oh look at the chucker boots by the way. Mm. But yeah, I went I went on a bit of a rant about how loafers were amazing. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, Banks the same. We can't wear a hat. Oh yeah, we have white gloves as well. You know, I'm gonna keep the steel glove on actually. Yeah, we'll keep the steel glove on. I love those. Yeah. Do you like them? Oh, I don't know, man. I, I love my loafers, man. Wait, which one do you mean? The the, the chucker or the, uh, the the loafers? The chucker? Yeah, yeah. They're both cool. Um, I, I, just, I just love a good loafer, though. I just love a good loafer. <sighs> should we get a haircut? Should we stick with this hair? Or should we go and get a hat? The problem is we can't have both. So, should we go and start wearing hats? Or... I love the hair... Yeah, see, that's my problem too, KMS. That's my problem too. And we can't even see if any of these hats are good. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Alright, okay. 
It's still me won't let you do back. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll get a heck up. It is a bit silly, yeah. <gasps> oh, for those of you who have not seen it, this is the Galarian form of Ponytar just to the left of me here. It's actually a psychic type now. It looks like My Little Pony. I love it. Welcome. Lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? Um, I, I'd like my hair to be uh, sorted out, please. All right, let's have you in the chair. I'll take your back and things too, darling. All right, there we go. Now then, what kind of luck do you want today? Uh, regular, I guess. Will that do? Is that how we do it? Uh, right, re right, re regular. I, I, I guess. Do we go with regular? Are you really sure you want me to go ahead with the options you've selected? Okay, then let's get you sorted. All right. Oh my God, pretty, isn't it? Lo isn't it lovely? Yeah, I love it too. It's so good. How come everything in Galar is so uh, pastel? I don't know. Apparently, that's what England's like. All done. Thank you for your patience. You look fresher than a mint, baby. Nice. Uh, do you want to reprint your Pokemon League card? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> why not? Thanks for stopping by. I hope we'll see you again. All right, you probably won't. Oh man, I'm not had a haircut in ages. Does this make me? Man, who knew that haircuts make you look so friggin' handsome? <laughs> right. Okay. Can we now wear hats? Hat me, baby. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Oh. 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 I can bucket it up right now. It's your boy, Captain Bucket Hat. Oh. Oh, I don't know. What do you reckon? Do we? Oh, I don't know. Is it is it Cool Guy Cap? Or is it Cool Guy Bucket Hat? I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? I think it's Bucket Hat, right? Do we Bucket Hat? Uh, bucket? Yeah. No, I love it. I love it, Moon Magic. I think we Bucket Hat, don't we? Yeah, Bucket Hat. Alright, we're gonna Bucket Hat. Uh... I abstain? Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Um... What color do we go for? What do we go for here? There'll be other hats as well, for sure. I'm using canvas as well to say bucket hat. <laughs> nice. Doesn't like bucket hats? Oh, no! That's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all good. I appreciate that. And we'll be on this one, KMS. Not a big fan of the old bucket hat. Oh, no. That's so funny. All right. Well, we're going to wear one for now. We're going to wear one for now. Um, aesthetic wants pink. We'll get pink. All right. We'll wear one for now. Oh. Oh. Guys, I don't have any money. <laughs> I just wanted to try it on, man. I just wanted to try it on. God damn it. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going hatless, boys. Sell stuff? I can't sell my stuff. No, it's all right. We'll get we'll get one later. You can put your knit hat back on. Oh, we could have done that, actually, yeah. But first... At least that wasn't for reals. I know, right? Could you imagine? <laughs> You got nugget items? Yeah, we'll we'll um we'll go back. We'll go back. Um I forgot this guy's voice. Uh sorry about the caps. No, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> caps are fine, don't worry. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenge status revoked. Yeah, so remember the story. This guy uh thought it would be a good idea to ram an elephant into an ancient uh, stone uh, uh, tomb shrine thing. Uh, he's on the gym challenge with us, but uh, Rose, the leader of the League of Pokemon trainers or whatever, was like, "Yeah, you're you're banned. Get out of here." So um, yeah, there you go. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Uh, of course I can. Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. 
I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. <gasps> oh, that boy! Now that's what I would call pink. <sighs> So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. Oh, I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Oh. <laughs> She's a cougar! Bead, run, run out of there! She has a new crush. I know, right? TG can't really afford a bucket hat even. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. Oh, a snap new gym trainer. Yeah, yeah, it's happening. Time for my gym mission, child. Ooh. Oh, what? Oh, look at the move. Oh, oh pink. Pink. And pink. Oh. Congratulations, child. <laughs> <laughs> and Bede was never seen again. Until now. Uh, Miss, Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Oleana, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have... I throw you away like rubbish when she was done with you. Come with me, child. Join me, and by my side, we will rule the galaxy. But also, I might be able to help you out a little bit, yes. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are, 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 you, are, are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars and the force, maybe. <laughs> Drink this cool aid. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh, he's going to put in the hard work, all right. Oh, SP, you didn't. You didn't. <laughs> Pete, stop. You're an idiot. Don't do it. Don't join the fairy side of the force, speed. Now, now. Now grab my nose. It's actually a lightsaber. Pull it, and you shall forever be a part of the dark side. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Farewell for now, useless child I don't care about anymore. You should head to uh, Sirchester. I, I take it you know how to get there, you big idiot. It's Route 7, if you didn't know. All right, come with me, my new protege. I will show you everything there is to know about how to make love to it. No, I'm kidding. Right. Okay, enough of that. Don't pull anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. No, it's all right. You're good. You're good, man. You're good. Pull my nose. Yeah, that's, 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 okay. <laughs> God damn it. All right, let's go. Uh. I quite like my haircut. I don't know anymore. I don't know. No, let's go get a fluffy hat. Let's go put, yeah, let's go put our knit hat on. Yeah, let's go put our knit hat on. There we go. Miss you buffoons last week. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have you here, Scout. Nice to have you here, my good friend. All right. There you go. We're doing it. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful boy. Look at that beautiful boy. Look at that beautiful boy. Look at that. What a beautiful boy that is. Beautiful boy. Uh, Alright, I don't get out of here. Uh, okay, there we go. There you go. Beautiful boy. Perfect. Absolutely. Beautiful boy. That boy is a beautiful boy. And we have the colour sandwich, ladies and gentlemen. Purple on top. And we got purple trousers. And a bit of pink in the middle. Yep, the sandwich is real. And the white loafers are like a plate. Opal's not going to know what to do when she sees him. Absolutely. Absolutely. Friggin' Opal. <laughs> Call a sandwich, right? It works. Do you guys not do that? Do you guys Do you guys not do that? Like, if you're hat people, and you... Let's say you're wearing, like, I don't know, like, blue jeans, maybe, like, a white shirt. It's... you got to wear a blue hat, right? 
the white loafers like a plate. Yeah, it, it makes sense, right? I don't know anything about fashion. Please don't take me seriously. <laughs> Never heard it look called that. I love it. There you go. There you go. You got see see you guys are all laughing and stuff right now. But next time you get dressed, you guys are gonna look in the mirror and think to yourself, maybe Dan's right, and you're gonna change a part of your ensemble to match that color scheme. <laughs> Black girls be ready for that is true. That's pathetic. That is true. I wore a green shirt, blue tracksuit buttons, and brown boots today. I know nothing of my own fashion. H7, that sounds wonderful. Don't you worry, man. Don't you worry. I do it honestly. Now I know the name for it. You're welcome, Moon Magic. You're welcome. <laughs> Pretty much only wear black, white, and gray. Well, that, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's more of an open sandwich. Or a layered cake of sorts. You know? It's all good. It's all good. As long as you refer to your fashion as some kind of food, then you can't lose, right? Can't really lose. I just wear green and brown. That's a good combo. Apart from crazy yoga leggings, they are pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pink. Hey, Opal. Oh, lovely scouts. Ooh, so much pink. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. What is this stream, ladies and gentlemen? What is this stream? The best darn Pokemon stream you've ever seen in your life. Right. Uh, Route 7, I believe. I don't know where that is. Uh, where is Route 7? Over here. Alright, we're going to Route 7. Challenge the next gym in Sochester Stadium, which is, uh, up here. Right, so, looks like we're going to a castle of some kind of ruins. That's bloody marvellous. Let's, let's do it. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Oh my god, look at that tower. Oh, oh, hey, Sonia. I was about to get into like the next bit of that song where they go, whoa, whoa, whoa. But Sonya's here now, so we gotta kind of do this. He said he would sing. It happened, Moon Magic. You can't, you can't keep me down. <laughs> hey, uh, the badge collecting going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins in Stoneside. The sword and shield? What kind of Pokemon were they? And where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in... Oh! Uh-oh. I don't think that was good. Is her hair... Is her hair band hair? Oh, it could be. Same color, isn't it? Uh, okay. Well, that's a real monkus if I've ever heard one. Are you kidding me? What was that? It's fracking, love. Too much fracking. <laughs> I'm a like stadium shock. That guy doesn't know where to look. I know, right? <laughs> He's like, Corvus Squire, <laughs> help me, please. Did the herd just destroy? I, I guess. Fracking, bloody frackers. <laughs> the old guy is all corp. corp Cool, blimey. Not heard anything like that in years. Aye. <laughs> it's alright though, it's probably nothing. Aye. That's where Chairman's Rose Power Plant is, uh, is, isn't it? Oh god, power plants. Huh, a power spot? Uh, what's wrong, Sonia? I'm getting readings from the power spot detector. Does that mean dynamaxing is possible here? Hey, Sonya! Dan too! You felt the shaking, right? Ah, yes. Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. He's a cool guy. Likes to extend his words. Yeah. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hamelock. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. Yeah. You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going too. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the quaking to the ad- Whoa, 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 whoa. Pff, pff. Chad, he is such a Chad, absolutely. I, I have you know, I am, I am 10 and three quarters years old, Sonia. How dare you? I am practically an adult. Head to si the Sir Chester and get that gym badge. No, I want to go with you as an adult. Look at my hat. Oh. Oh, Dan. 
Oh god, it's hot. Power plant, more like man eating Venus flytrap. Oh, Scout. Oh no, don't say that. Oh no, what's that Lunarian doing? Oh god, I don't even know anymore. Oh god, hops here. Shorts plus tights forever. It's a good combo. It's a great combo for sure. Oh god, it's Hop. Okay. How you doing, Hop? This is our best friend, Hop, by the way. First that forest, then that mad quiz. I've been lost every, in every sense of the word, but it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's hop along to Route 7. Woo! Yeah! We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We're living the dream. Oh, we're going to be Pokemon Masters. Let's do it. To Route 7 we go. Oh, I love a good bridge. Oh, look at that. I love seeing castle things like that. Oof. Let's do it. Yeah. It's tired. Runs away. Yeah, I know, right? It, hops, Hop is always excited. He's an excitable young man. All right, Dan. You and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up, if I want to surpass him. So I think you know what's coming, mate. Mate? Don't call me mate. Let me try my latest in a battle against you. It's a hot battle, everybody. Let's see if he's learned about type matchups. All right, so hop shall begin with Trevenant, the evolved form of Phantom. That, uh, Phantom, sorry, Phantom? Something like that. That Pokemon that you saw floating around in that weird mushroomy place. All right, time for me to test exactly how far I can go with my latest and greatest team. Let's do it. So Trevenant is a ghost and uh, grass type, and grass types are weak to poison. So Toxtricity will begin with Venoshock. Bam! Or maybe I've got his typing completely wrong. A ghost resistant to poison? I know nothing about Pokemon. Let's just use Discharge some. <laughs> I could have sworn he'd be weak to poison. Wait, why am I using Discharge? He's a Grass type. Am I confused? Exo, I might know nothing about Pokemon. You'll be fine? I mean, I think we'll be fine. I'm just kind of confused. Are you mad? I think I might be mad. I think I might be absolutely insane. I thought Poison was strong versus him. I thought so too. Such a mad lad. Yeah. I am the maddest lad right now. Weird. That didn't look like a different Trevenant either, so... I don't think it was a Galarian form. Oh, oh, okay. All right, okay, all right, okay. Uh, this dude's got himself a big old Snorlax. Um, okay, this could be fun. This could be fun. All right, Gen 1 classic and fan favorite. It's the big boy. We got ourselves a Snorlax. Right, we are gonna Toxic him. Well, we're gonna try to anyway. He stole our Munchlax. He did! How dare he? <laughs> Isn't he adorable, KMS? I love Snorlax. Our favorite mount, yeah. In Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you can actually ride a Snorlax and it's so, so good. I love it. All right. Uh, we are confused right now. I'm very afraid of hitting myself, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully he doesn't have a way to remove the, uh, the, the toxic from him. It's a hug ride. Yeah, you kind of cling onto his belly as you ride around, don't you? I love it. I love it so much. Oh, body slam. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> He's such a big boy. All right. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling we won't survive another, so we're going to heal ourselves a wee bit. He a thick boy? Yeah, you bet your ass he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good lad, though. He's a good lad. I love me a Snorlax. My dream is to one day have a ginormous Snorlax, like, beanbag chair kind of thing. Because I think that would be amazing. Consider the possibility your Pokemon might land a critical hit. Shut up, Hop. <laughs> you need that? Oh, I, I want it big, though. I want it big. Like, absolutely massive. That sounds amazing. I know, right? I, I love it. Just be able to sit in its belly. I want, it to, I want it to not fit in my room. That's how big I want it. Shut your face, Hop. Yeah, you tell him, mate, Seven. You tell him. <laughs> there you go. Snowdax doesn't give a lot of experience. Uh, Heatmore. Interesting. Okay, for Heatmore, 
Uh, heat more. We are gonna give Hatram a go. That chair needs to be your next donation goal. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling it would cost quite a bit, but that would be an interesting idea for sure. Heat more. Wow. Okay. Oh, heat more is not very good. Uh, if I remember correctly, just thinking you should start a donation thing for a DJ. Ah. Do you guys? Do you guys? Oh, you know, spoke bite. Ow. You guys really want to start a donation goal for 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 my ass? Because my ass is going to be the thing that's sitting on the Snorlax. Okay. <laughs> uh, we need to make DJ a Snorlax plush. I mean, that'd be pretty good. Me, I could I could sit on it with my uh, Lily Colo plush that I got from KMS. Yay. Get rid of your bed. I mean, that's a good idea. <laughs> my friend is moving out and I want to turn the room into a games room and I want to decorate it with stuff like that. Oh, that sounds like such a good idea. Should totally do that, man. Go for it, bro. Go for it. What the hell is this dude doing? Where do you get these? I know, right? We have not seen a single heat more in this entire playthrough. So it's interesting how he's found one. Damn, son. Where'd you find that? Yeah, I know that. I know that move. If I donate the most, do I win your ass? Um, I, I mean, sure. Why not? Just go for it. There you go. My ass is now on sale, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Donate to DJ Ass Funds, please. The daft... <laughs> <laughs> Daft fun. <laughs> nice. He stole them. He's a thief. He is indeed. Oh, ouch. Oh, critical hit. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god, that's not fine. Oh god, I want to deliver a devastating move, but my god, he's annoying me. Alright, okay. I want to use one more Calm Mind, and then we're going to sweep his ass. That might kill. Okay, we're not going to get one more. We're not going to get one more. And we're not going to be faster either. This has all been a very pointless practice right now. Let's see what happens, though. Yeah, we're not even faster. <laughs> Poor Hatrum. Hatrum is friggin' adorable, but my god, Hatrum has taken some absolute poundings, unfortunately. Ah, oh, it's use. Uh, Cinderace, I guess. Sure, you can do it. Oh yeah, we'll beat him. We'll absolutely beat him. I don't want Hatrin to miss out on any experience, so, so I'm going to revive it. I don't want Hop to think that he's actually been able to kill any of my Pokemon, so we'll revive Hatrin. There you go. You get nothing, Hop. You get nothing. All right, Fire versus Fire. Slash is a high crit chance move, but nothing on that right there. Parable is not going to do... You're not bug. No, you're not a bug type move. Of course, you're not a bug, bug type Pokemon. Sorry, you are a fire type. Uh, we'll go with um, headbutt then. Might as well go with headbutt. Yeah. Notice how we use the move headbutt, but we use our feet to deliver that headbutt. I remember when he only had a sheep and a monkey. I know, right? Oh God, yeah. We've got to see his monkey. <gasps> We're gonna see the final form of Grookey. Oh. We're going to see the final form of Grookey today. So, yeah, the free start of Pokemon, Sobble, Scorbunny, and Grookey. Uh, Hop took Grookey, and we have Scorbunny. So, yeah, we will see the final evolution of Grookey, probably in this battle. It, we should in this battle, realistically. Grookey ate the whale. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But a roasted lamb. I want a Sobble. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know if we'll ever see Sobble, honestly. He ate the what? He ate the Wooloo! The Wooloo has been devoured! Roasted lamb! Feels good. <laughs> Monkey got burned. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. KMS, he's got a good boy, too. He's got Bolton. Monkey's got burned. Yeah. Oh, look at that gorgeous Bolton. All right, so against Bolton, unless we get outpaced, we're going to use Pyro Ball. All right, pure fire damage. Let's do it. Eight. Whoa. Such a good boy. Oh, yeah. Feels bad killing the Bolton like that. We don't kill them, obviously. They faint when you run out of health. Kill that good boy. Yeah. Oh. Typical DJ dog killer. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> All right, this might be it. He's got a Pokemon called Rillaboom. I, I don't know what that is. I'm the kind of guy who gets fired up to win in these situations. 
Oh! Oh, I love him. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he looks so good. Oh, look at that. I approve. <laughs> Biggest monkey monk. Yeah. How <laughs> did his mouth say cocky with his eyes say murder? Oh, yeah, kinda. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, these, these final evolutions have not failed to impress me so far. Holy crap. I love Cinderace. Cinderace looks cool. This guy looks phenomenal. Look at that. Little drummer boy, yeah. The way you battle, you know it kind of reminds me of Leon. Feels bad about that guy, though. Not the monkey. Oh, I, oh you meant Hop? Oh, I, I mean, kind of matched the monkey as well, in a way. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love him. I like the starting lineup too. Oh, they're good, aren't they? I've not seen Sobble's final, but that's really cool. I, lo I love all three. Uh, sorry, all, all, all two of the final evolutions that we've seen so far. So, so good. Um, we're not going to give me out for anything. We're not going to keep me out. We just want to see Persian. They're the same person? Yeah, yeah. This is rubbish! <laughs> God damn it. My team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight as a trainer. I mean... Oh! <gasps> oh! So, ladies and gentlemen, if you know a little bit about Pokemon, you will know that Meowth always evolves into Persian. However, in Gen 1 on onwards, we had regular Persian. In Gen 7, we had Alolan Persian. In Gen 8 here, we have Galara Persian. Or do we? Maybe we don't. Who knows? Let's find out. Let's do this. Let's evolve this little savage. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's pog it up. Oh, oh, hello! It's not a Persian! Oh my god, I know, the cat is evolving! Gremlin Persian. No, <laughs> it's not a Persian! A disgusting from 87 demon? Berserker. That's a good name, that. Extreme Gremlin. I love it though. Yeah. Send it back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you evolve already? Devolve, sorry. I love it. I know, I like it too. I like it too. It looks proper savage, doesn't it? So glad I hated a little Persian. A little Persian was not everyone's cup of tea, for sure. Berserker is so good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It has a beard? It does. It does. Ah, Viking. Oh, thank you for the 200 pugs. Appreciate that. Big old Berserker hugs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you're the best KMS, thank you. <laughs> He's gonna eat your Pokemon? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Berserker, the Viking Pokemon, steel type. What appears to be an iron helmet is actually hardened hair. This Pokemon lives for the thrill of battle. It's a Viking? Yeah, apparently so. Never mind, I like it. Good. <laughs> it's gonna eat me, baby. Oh, what do you wanna learn? Wants to learn Iron Head. We're not gonna use it, but eh, we should like put Iron Head on it for whatever reason. Uh, it's better than Scratch. I love it. I, I actually think it's quite cool. And it's quite a nice little shock to not make a Persian. So that's interesting. Uh, for those of you that don't know Persian too well, it's like a four, it's, it's on all fours. It's a kind of like a classy cat kind of thing. So yeah, to see the kind of Viking, kind of more savage evolution, I like that. I like that a lot. Before we ever started out on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. For those of you that don't speak common English, telly is a television. Just, just making sure. I know, we, we butcher our own language. <laughs> Persian kind of look like a pamphlet? Yeah, yeah, for sure. We, have, we do have a normal meow, so we can get a regular Persian too. There's a penguin on the t <laughs> oh, God, Sure. <laughs> he was like a bright star. So strong, I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now, I can tell just how strong he really is. And what he's got that I haven't. But I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine. Like, you know, whatever. Yeah, the monster pie for me. No, I got, I got you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for letting me battle with you again. And here, I'll heal up your team for you. Appreciate it. I just like hearing the word telly. Do you guys ever say the word telly to mean television? 
Yeah, I do. I, I have limited Monty Python knowledge, but uh, don't worry. I, I got I got I got I got that one. Don't you worry. <laughs> Hope you guys stop comparing yourself to others. Yeah, yeah. He does really. We say TV. Oh, you say Telly a lot in uh, New Zealand. Very cool. I thought Telly was child talk. Nah, dude. Northern talk, right? Proper Northern. I think I know what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. And I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have to... Uh, gonna, yeah, going to have to... I can't read. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Surchester. Alright, I'll be a pop lad. Well, I mean, TV is perfectly fine. I think that is, like, the most acceptable one, right, isn't it? If you don't want to say television. But, uh, yeah, telly for us a lot. <laughs> telly is criticism, absolutely. Alright, okay, so, uh, I see... Oh, I forgot his name. Uh, Fevert, right? Something like that? DJ, there's a fox. No, I see it. Yeah, there's, um... I forgot his name. Fevert or something. We evolved one, I believe. It's just common in the US. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Fevel! KMS knows more about Pokemon than me. But she's right. Well done, KMS. Good memory. Well done. Best memory in the world. Appreciate it. Yes, Fevel. That was the one. As a model, I'll show off the appeal of my partner Pokemon, okay? All right, let's do it, love, let's do it. We do have a Feeble. We do have a, a Feeble, so we don't need to catch it. A Rebombi! Oh, I love Rebombi. Oh, I had a Rebombi. Oh, it's so good. It's a fairy type, a bug type, I believe. Oh, Pollen Puff. I think we're fine here. Yeah, we're fine. I used to love Rebombi so much in um, uh, Gen 6, I believe. I, I, I stuck to that Pokemon when I, I, I think it's a pre-evolved, sorry, the evolved form of Cutifly? Uh, but yeah, I used to love it. It's a cutie. Yeah, I think it evolves from Cutifly, so yeah, makes sense. Stands to reason. And here we have Vespaquen. So the fun thing about Vespaquen is that it evolves from Combi, which is like a little bee thing. But it only evolves if it's a female Combi. The male Combi never evolves. So uh, yeah, nice little female Vespaquen here. Um, discharge? Are you a flying type as well? I can't re can't quite remember. Bug and flying? Yeah, there we go. Good. Feels good, man. I like Vespiquen. Vespiquen's got its actual own unique moves. Uh, defense order, attack order, and basically the idea that the queen is sending off dudes to defend its queen and all that. Or attack and all that. It's very cool. I like her mouse buns. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like I like that Pokemon. I think it's a cool design for sure. What a great trainer you are! You really showed off the appeal of your partner Pokemon. I don't know why I, I don't know what this voice is, but it it works in my head. Um, it, this also reminds me that we need to get rid of Meowth. So let's do that. Um, right. Okay. So Berserker out. Uh... Who's in? <sighs> Who is in, pray tell? Um, I wonder if Silicobra evolves. Let's find out. Did we have someone else who we wanted to evolve? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. I think it was just these two that we wanted to evolve, right? Yeah. All right, okay. We're going to go with these two. So we'll see if Silicobra evolves. Just Lombra. Yeah, Lombra needs a water stone, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, we're on the hunt for a water stone. Oh, oh, all right, lads. Uh, hey, you, you just can't silence Team Yell. She's cute. She's tough. She won't take no one's guff. Yep, that's another one. Oh, our Marnie. She's our Marnie. Woo! Bloody hooligans. All right, we got ourselves a Feeble here and a Shiny. There we go. A Bomb Mushroom. Uh, we have a secret Pokemon here. Team Yell? Yeah, they like to shout. Ooh, a Carablast. Yeah. All right, so let's go catch ourselves a Carablast. Uh, how are we going to do it, though? Nuzzle, I reckon. So, yeah. Uh, oh, God, scary face. Angry Bug. Yeah. Uh, Carablast is an interesting Pokemon. Uh, I think we'll just catch it. It's not new, by the way. It's one of the older ones. But um, we will catch it for the sake of the Pokedex. I... I 
I, I would like to finish the Pokedex on stream. Um, like we did, like we almost did with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I didn't quite get all of the Pokemon on stream for Let's Go Pikachu, but I'd like to do the full Pokedex run for this game. Uh, so yeah, so we'll try and catch as many as we possibly can. <laughs> I dare say we'll probably try and catch them all. Carabast. Uh, blah, sorry. God, sorry. It's burping all day. Let me try that again. Carablast, the clamping Pokemon. Its strange physiology reacts to electrical energy in interesting ways. The presence of a Shelmet will cause this Pokemon to evolve. Indeed, indeed it will. Gotta catch them all, absolutely. Beetle Boy, yeah. Yeah, we gotta do it, Pikachu. We gotta catch them all out. Uh, we don't need the Feebles, so we're gonna... Uh, oh God, look at all the Feebles. Oh, there's so many. Interesting. Oh yeah, look at those Perserkers. So if we hadn't evolved our Meowth by now, we would have found out what they evolved into. Because there you go, there's a couple. There's a couple of Vikings lurking in grass. <laughs> I love to see all the Pokemon caught on stream. All right, cool, cool. Bit taxi driver means I got to be ready anytime, anywhere. Pokemon battles at same anytime, anywhere. Aye, aye. Plutty Vikings. I know, all right. Oh. Cabby Bruce, but Brucey to his friends. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we have Corvusquire. So if you're wondering why a taxi driver is actually wearing um, like flying uh, kit, you know, the goggles and the hat, it's because the way that we travel around this place is using the poke, well, not this Pokemon, but the evolved form of Corvusquire. Corviknight taxis are the way in which you travel around the world. So there's no fly, uh, HM method. You use flying taxis, so that's why he's uh, got himself the, the the aerial kind of kit on right now. Uh, believe me, English cabbies do not look like that, or they do, depending on what you choose to believe. But um, yeah, they they don't. <laughs> uh, right, your mask wants to learn slam. Uh, we'll get rid of mean look for that. I say it's because in England, taxi drivers are so dangerous, you'll probably go off a cliff. That is also true. That is also true, yes. <laughs> the amount of times that's happened to me. Oh, Rufflet! Oh. oh, man. I love Rufflet. Oh, absolutely. Oh, look at this baby boy. Oh, oh look at that baby boy. Oh, I love Rufflet. Oh, I love Rufflet. Rufflet's like one of my top 10 most cutest, most favorite cutie Pokemon in the history of the universe. It is the biggest III for Rufflet. Sorry, had to kill it, but still. Baby, yeah, baby Rufflet. <laughs> SUSB, I used to go in a taxi to school and I thought I was going to die a lot of the time. Yeah, no, I feel you there, but I feel you there. <laughs> Little poofy baby, yes! <laughs> Oh, all the IIIs. Oh, I'm so glad I got an III. It was a late decision to make that, that emote, but I kind of wanted it. <laughs> no matter where I go in my taxi, loss and loneliness seem to follow. Oh, sorry, love. Glad you did too. It was a late decision. It was down to that RPG um, limit break III, honestly. It turned out so good. Yeah, really happy with it. All right, let's shake that tree. Yeah. Now, last time we shook this tree too much, uh, a Greedent, uh, a very uh, chunky uh, squirrel-type Pokemon, fell on our head. So, uh, yeah, let's shake it a few times. Yeah, that one. That one in the middle. Shout out to that time I was in Turkey or somewhere near there, and the bus we were waiting for hit the curve and made sparks fly everywhere. Holy crap, dude. That sounds... <laughs> that sounds dodgy as heck. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm 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 glad everything's okay. I wanna go to Turkey. Is Turkey nice? Not the food, the place. Oh god, the Vikings are coming. That is so lucky. I know, right? Oh, I have to go up a mountain in that in that bus. Oh gosh. Oh my lord. Plus I got was three shakes with seven berries. Yeah, and I didn't get attacked by a Greedent either, so that's really interesting. Um Oh here we go. Quick balls. Foxies, yeah. So I would fight one of these, but we already have one, so not really much to not really not really much point to it. Although saying that, I may have just accidentally run into one. 
<laughs> Look at him. All right, we'll fight. We'll find out. So the enchanting you did? I, I, I guess, sir. I guess. <laughs> I, uh, man, we did do a lot, didn't we? Lots of blue eyes. That's what I remember. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm so glad we got lucky on that tree, though, for sure. The mustache? I know, right? She's beautiful. It, it reminds me of, like, um, like an old school, like, thief film, you know, where they steal stuff. And this is kind of like the, the typical bad guy, you know, and he's like, yeah, see, I'm going to steal your crown jewels, see, yeah. <laughs> So it's like Zaro. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Snidely Whiplash. I like that. Yeah. Puss in Boots. Yeah, it, it all works. Yeah. Like Robin Hood. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, Poison Jab. Ooh, okay. All right. So, interesting. So, Poison Jab is a poison type move, as you could imagine from the name. It is stronger than Venoshock. But it comes off of the physical attack. And right now, our physical attack on Toxtricity is exactly the same as special attack. So we get rid of Venoshock. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, yeah. <laughs> Feeble, no feeling. Feeble, no. <laughs> Oh, man. I uh, remember the Disney movie where they made Robin Hood a fox? I never saw it. I, I know of it, though, but I never actually saw it, unfortunately. Love that movie as a kid. Ah, uh, nice, nice. All right, ah, uh, okay. It was so good. We need, like, a Disney movie night or something. Should we make that a thing? Holy crap. We can't do that, by the way. <laughs> hey, Kayla. How you now? I'm good, man. I'm good. How you doing? Oh, I remember you, but I can't remember your name because it's really long and stupid. His name is stupid, okay? I can never remember it. But yeah, how you doing, Kayla? How you feeling, man? Maybe Marion was a vixen? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm going to go with Togedemaru. You have Disney Plus? Yeah, you do, don't you? You watched The Mandalorian, wasn't it, recently? Turge de Maru. I'll go with that. Turge de Maru. Turge de Maru. We'll go with that. Something like that. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I know, right? But look at that face. I know, right? Such a cutie. Yeah, it's good. Glad you liked it. Ah, good. Good. I'm glad you liked it, man. Still the same, nearly worse, but hey, what can you do? Well, watch me beat up this cute Pokemon, and maybe that will cheer you up. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Togedemaru is a electric type. So um, these moves that we're going to use will not do too much damage. Oh, actually, it has Lightning Rod. That I did not know. So unfortunately, if a Pokemon has a Lightning Rod, it actually becomes immune to Lightning. Uh, well, electric. So we can't use that. Uh, we can't even use that to paralyze it. So we're going to have to lower its HP with something else, sadly. BRB? Yeah, no problem. Can tell by the tail. Yeah, yeah, I, I completely forgot. I I used to know like all the abilities off by heart, but um, yeah, got pretty debated by that one, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go with a headbutt. We want to lower its HP just a wee bit. Smash. Ooh, not too much, though. Oh, you steal as well? Oh my god, I know nothing about Toga Damaru. Alright, alright, fair enough. Gotta head out. See you guys later. Thank you for the stream as a way scout of the woods. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for the sub and for the bits as well. And uh, yeah, glad you enjoyed the stream. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Farewell, scouts. Farewell. Ow. All right. So pin missile, bug type move. Bug type moves are not strong against fire at all. It may look like it's doing quite a bit of damage, mainly because it fires, I believe, two to five times, maybe three to five times. But um, yeah, it, it just all adds up, really. Hope and pray, ladies and gentlemen, for the Toga Demaru. Toga Demaru. To Toga. Whatever it's called. Here we go. We did it! Yeah! There we go.
I've always had a problem remembering this guy's name. Like, it's not like terribly hard to pronounce, so I was kind of just joking. Um, but it's quite hard to remember, really. Uh, Silicover wants to learn Dig. Let's do it, shall we? Dig is... Uh, I quite like this moveset, actually. No, let's not learn Dig. No. All right. Okay, so we got a new Pokemon already. Here we go, Toga Demaru. A steel and electric type. I forgot it was a steel type. Toga Demaru, the really poly Pokemon. With the long hairs on its back, this Pokemon takes in electricity from other electric Pokemon. It stores what it absorbs in its electric sack. I'll be heading out soon too. Yeah, you're going out today as well, aren't you? I miss you so much. I'm glad you've got to see the stream today though, KMS. I don't want you to miss uh, any Pokemon. So uh, glad you got to see the, the Pokemon stream at the very least. I miss you too, DJ. Oh, God. Uh, we won't actually be streaming for too much longer, actually. So you won't be missing too much. So yeah, that's good at least. Are you ending soon? Yeah, we probably will. I'll say the whole stream. Oh, I appreciate that aesthetic. I appreciate that, my good man. Yeah, I probably won't be streaming too much longer. Ah, oh, please don't kill me. Oh, he killed me. God, yeah. I think we've made some really good progression. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably look for a place to stop soon. Not immediately, but soon. All right, okay, so unfortunately, uh, Toxtricity just got absolutely smashed by a flying type, which is super embarrassing, by the way. The, the evolved form of Rufflet is awesome, by the way. I don't think you'll see it. You might see it. No, well, you will see it, because I'm going to catch them all, but... God damn it. Got 10 minutes. All right. It might be a little later than 10 minutes, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, the, the, the basic point is you won't miss much. So, it's all good, right? It's all good. <laughs> Got as long as you want. Now, nah, to be honest with you, I'm getting a bit tired anyway. <laughs> I'm getting a bit tired, unfortunately. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. All right, Tailwind. All Tailwind will do is it'll uh, increase the speed of the opponent Pokemon and its team, but unfortunately, Rufflet is just one Pokemon. One. Click. No. Okay. But that was a critical one. I love this little puffball. I do too. I do too, and unfortunately, it's walloping us. Uh, we're going to have to damage it a bit. Please don't kill it, Hatchrum. Aw, oh, you don't learn scary face. Your face is too adorable to know scary face, you big silly football. Alright. Okay, that should be a lot better. Ultra Ball, don't fail me now! Let's do it. Ugh. Wow, okay, I talk French and you only give me one? How dare you? God damn it. Okay, let's try this one again, shall we? Let's try this one again. Okay, so... Ultra Ball! How very tail! God damn! Oh, it's, it's far fetched all over again. I want it. Isn't it funny? The more it resists me, the more I bloody want it. God damn it. Alright, Boltons, you're in, bud. Me yeah! All the birds in this game are super mean. We need a bird Pokemon, by the way. I don't know if you, uh, I don't, for those to you who may be more into Pokemon types, you may know that my team is incredibly weak to ground type Pokemon. We have a times four weakness with Toxtricity being poison and electric. We have a times two weakness with Bolton being electric, and we have a times two weakness with Cinderace being fire. So we need a flying type Pokemon. So uh, yeah, we're basically auditioning for uh, uh, a flying one um, to come to the team soon. English birds OP? Absolutely. They will steal your chips. Seagulls are bad, man. Do we not have a Corvus Squire? Um, we do. Um, but I want something different. I want something slightly different than a Corvus Squire. I don't know what I want, but I know I want something slightly different. Um, Rufflet. The Eaglet Pokemon. If it spies a strong Pokemon, Rufflet can't resist challenging, challenging it to a battle. But if Rufflet loses, it starts brawling. Bowling, sorry. Oh, such a feisty lad. Yeah, get them all. Yeah, I, I don't know what I want, but it will come to me. Like, as soon as I see it, I'll be like, yeah, that's that's my baby right there. Uh, all right, we're going to have to camp. 
So we're gonna have to uh, cook to revive my Pokemon. Uh, all right, X and cooking. Uh, yeah, let's start cooking. I don't think we even have that many ingredients, do we? Uh, let's make a fancy apple thing, and let's add uh, a spear times two, a figgy, and a ganlon, and a lychee. Lychee berries are really good, actually. Um, all right, let's do it. Get your curry on. Yeah, let's see what this mishmash of uh, flavors will give us. Oh, and Hatrim's giving us uh, a bit of good luck there. There you go. All right. Loft! Loft! Let the fires consume you! There you go. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. So what this will do is it will heal our Pokemon and give our Pokemon buffs. Oh, 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 Bolton likes it. I don't know if that was too much fire there. He's like the light berry you put in. Really? Oh, does he like it? That's good. Wait, am I using... I was using the wrong one. There we go. Don't spill it. Don't spill any. Everyone's hungry. Bolton always seems to like what we make. I love that. Bolton's such a good boy. He always seems to like what we make. All right, I put my love in there. All right, did I do good? I probably didn't do good. Let's find out. Let's find out. All right, today we have spicy apple curry, ladies and gentlemen. That's on the table today. But the result, does Cinderace like it? Well, do I like it? Yeah, Cinderace likes it. And I, oh, look at me, wolf it down, bloody hell. Ooh. Well, the one on, on the right was fancy. Yeah, it looked nice, didn't it? I have a new medal. The Copper Roger class. That's so good, yeah. That's interesting. All right, cool. Uh, you've probably been getting a lot of experience. Yeah, I think so too, Exo. So maybe Milsery wasn't the highest class then. So maybe Milsery is like your bronze medal, and then Copper Raj is your silver? TJ best cook? Yeah, I mean, regardless of the taste rating, apparently I am just the best cook, obviously. <laughs> uh, maybe it's base highest class? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know, I don't know. Like, like you can get worse. I, I guess so. Yeah, I'm not too sure how it works. All I know is everyone is healed now. Ooh, hey Gerda, how you doing? Good combination of berries. Yeah, there'll be a science to it. You've got worse than Milsery? Ooh, okay. Interesting. Uh, all right, okay, let's nuzzle this. Big Timber, yeah, so this is what Timber evolves into. Timber evolves into Gerda. The final evolution is something to behold, KMS. So it might be a good idea to catch this guy and then maybe evolve him one day. Again, we're gonna catch them all, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. Uh, I'm actually going to nuzzle again. Uh, Gerda's just got quite a bit of HP, so we're just going to nuzzle again just to kind of make sure we have a good chance. Oh, this... Oh, okay, good. Uh, that'd be cool. I hope I get to see it. You should. You should see it. Uh, you won't see it today. Um, I won't evolve it today, obviously, but um, it's very, very cool. One. Ah, God damn it. God damn it. All right. Um... I think, I, think it, I think it'll be fine against Discharge. Or not. <laughs> I'm so bad! Ah, oh, it's so bad. Or maybe not. Maybe my Pokemon are just really, really strong, right? Maybe my Pokemon are just absolutely, incredibly strong. Oh, is that a Gullet? Nice. Uh, right, let me check something. Uh, right. Uh, just checking something quickly, guys. 34. Right, okay. So, OP? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, okay. So, uh, I just checked that... I just checked, and your mask evolves at level 34. So, I think the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to evolve your mask. Um... Yeah, so we'll see what that turns into. Uh, 
so let's uh, yeah, let's try and get Gollet as quickly as we possibly can. Have you got your ground type yet? No. Oh, yes, you have. Okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, Gollet is a ground and ghost type Pokemon, which is why that didn't work. Uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully we'll get to see that soon. Hopefully we'll get to capture Gollet. I know this is not very effective, but I don't really want to switch right now. Let's go for the yellow ball. Here we go. One, two. God damn it. Oh, heavy slam. Oh, this could hurt. Oh no, it won't hurt. I forgot what type heavy slam is. That's fine. Uh, toxic. Oh man. You guys enjoyed the stream today? Sorry if I've seemed tired today. I've had a bit of a tiring day today, so hopefully the stream quality has been uh, pretty good. We've had quite a lot of chat today as well, so um, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed yourself. You've loved it, Aesthetic? Cool. Love the stream, KMS? I'm glad. I'm so glad. So glad you got to see it today. Um, it's always amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, click. Yeah. All right, sweet. Okay, so um, before I end today, I remember we're streaming this again tomorrow. Every Friday and Saturday, we will be playing Pokemon Sword. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll be playing more tomorrow. Uh, but yes, Gollet, the automaton Pokemon. Uh, they were sculpted from clay in ancient times. No one knows why, but some of them are driven to continually line up boulders. Here all night tomorrow. Yeah, you are. Woo! Feels good. Feels good, man. Feels good. Right, so for my final act today, ladies and gentlemen, I do like evolving Pokemon. It's one of my favorite things in the world. And of course, we caught Yamask uh, quite a while ago now. Uh, Yamask is a Galarian form. What am I looking for here? I uh, can't find it. Where am I? Is it here? Uh, oh no, it's here, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, your mask is in its Galarian form. Now, I actually know what its regular evolution um, looks like. If it looks completely different, I'll tell you and probably show you somehow. Um, but for now, we're going to evolve your mask using uh, experience candy. So, let's pop a couple of these into your mask. There we go. There we go. And as it evolves at level 34, or not, ooh, Galarian, get away from me, Galarian Yamas does not evolve at level 34 like its counterpart. Interesting. Maybe he needs a move. Do you need a move? Hmm. Sometimes Pokemon need moves as it reaches a level. Curious. Hmm. Interesting. I've only looked at how regular your mask evolves, which is level 34. I don't want to spoil myself with this. Curious. Okay. All right. So there is another way to evolve you, uh, Galarian your mask. Curious. Right. Well, uh, I I will I will leave that for another time. <laughs> I will leave up for another time, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's save our progress. All right. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And I believe I've just seen the sprite image of maybe Dotler's evolved form. Uh, our good friend Exo may have just evolved one. That looks pretty cool if that's, uh, if that's Dotler evolved. Very cool. Um, however, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call it a night there. You caught it? Very good. Very good, man. I have no clue? Ah, it looks like Dotler. Ah. <sighs> 
So yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Thank you for joining me on this lovely Friday and watching me play Pokemon. We have evolved Pokemon, we have caught Pokemon, and we have battled an old lady who gave us a right rollicking. But it's fine, because we persevered and we took her out. Thank you for the stream, DJ. Glad I got to see all of it. I'm glad too. Yeah. Big hugs. <laughs> Glad you loved it. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed Pokemon Sword today, you will be able to see more tomorrow. And this will be up on YouTube pretty much straight after the stream. So yeah, thanks all for watching. You're welcome, Exo. Never an issue. Thanks all for watching. Uh, have a good night, and I will see you all next time. Never a problem, Marty. Always good to have you. Have a good night. Farewell, everyone. Farewell.